Welcome to the Umbrella Chronicles, accessing file number 24981149RC. Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell to earth. The T-virus was developed as a biological weapon, proliferating amongst the unsuspecting public. It metamorphosed them into living death zombies. Umbrella's mission statement had always been preserving the health of the people. But beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswell E. Spencer's ambition. End of file concerning the outbreak incident in Raccoon City. The truth behind the rise and fall of Umbrella is something to which only a select few are privy. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City in the Arklay Mountains. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the international enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Should hold off for a while. But I wonder how those are in people react to this. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened?
Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Well, I mean, I could just turn the game off. Okay, so I'm playing this on the PC. It's the HD edition of the GameCube game. And I'm playing it with the alternative controls. I may change back to the other ones. It depends on how annoying I find these. I find the both have their good and bad points, but you see this, you can do this weird shit. And it does feel a bit, it's just a bit more flowy, just to walk, like, to point where you want to walk. But then it messes up with the cameras at some point, so I may just change around at various points. Let's begin the game. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The Oh, that's the map button. That's not the aim button. That's the aim button. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Well, I mean, technically they were. The rain is... I was reading that and then I skipped it. <laughs> the rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Hate the rain. Because I'm going to be doing a really long recording, I don't think I'll be talking non-stop. So that's not going to happen. How dead are you? Because I think if I did that, then it would just, you know, I, I, it's not going to be nice for me, so I'm not going to do it, am I? I'm Ringo from the Beatles. I still talk a lot anyway, because I just talk a lot. Hey, July 14th. Is that, is that independence? I'm not American from, you know, from me British accent, in it, governor. But, um, yeah, July 14th. No, it's July 4th, that's Independence Day. I know that because of the hit film, Independence Day. <laughs> Literally the only reason I know that. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay uh, Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's 
left of the abandoned equipment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. Uh, there's still so much we don't know about responses to the... Um, I, oh, I have to try and pronounce that word now. To the cost, costing... Fuck! I thought I was good at reading. T-virus. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of interesting research left, depending on the species and nurturing conditions. One, uh, one minute, do uh, one, only one minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in solidarity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shells in a corresponding uh, certain areas can become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head of the car uh, carapace. Oh, it's that fucking caterpillar thing. That's what they mean. This lab we are going. Um, this lab we are going to. Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. July nineteenth. The day is finally approaching, I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is, no. I can't think about that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Spoiler warning, it didn't. You're dead. Oh, a save room. And now, we get to one of the things I don't like about this game. The inventory. I hate the inventory in this game. Okay. How do you get the... That pause. That's it. I really need to burp, and I'm trying not to, and it's making me feel a bit sick. <laughs> I might just, um, one minute. There we go. That was gross. I'm sorry. I do feel better now. So, yeah, there's no item boxes similar to, you know, other classic Resident Evils. You just have to leave shit on the floor. But, uh, and you have to manage stuff between both players and all that. And it's an interesting addition to the, um, the whole thing. But basically... Instead of making this an interesting challenge or anything, it just means you have to backtrack more. Because instead of going to the nearest safe room to get the item you need, you have to go back to a certain point, which can sometimes be the other side of the fucking map. And it is so annoying. Just forgetting something in this game is the most annoying shit you can imagine. Yep, he's holding something. It is a train key. He is actually the conductor's t key. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. It's worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. 
like them. Meet Cerberus. Come on. Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, and it's dead. Yeah, if only we had some sort of conductor's key. Oh, dining car. My bad. I've remembered the game wrong. Which is interesting, as I thought I knew this really well. No, this, this is where we team up with Billy. Don't know why I'm singing, but I am. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, yeah, I forgot we can go upstairs. I don't think there's anything up here, but it'll be nice to look. You can't even carry this right now, love it. This will be relevant later. Actually. No, I appear to be missing an item. My costumes, to be precise. Maybe I don't get them until I meet Billy. Well, I mean, I've met Billy, but until I team up with Billy. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. You wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Well... That doesn't seem to be working. Use the dining room key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. Yes, definitely do that in this game because... Inventory is a shitter, isn't it? It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? He is an asshole. <laughs> like, I know he didn't act... Uh, spoiler warning, didn't actually kill them people. It's... we'll get into his backstory later. But whether or not he did is unimportant because he's still a dick. Um, 
Excuse me, sir. Sir. Oh, hello. Oh, oh God, Felici. that guy uh. what's going on who's controlling the train go and check out the first engine car listen we gotta cooperate with each other from now on you got that well I don't clue in girl or maybe you like being worm bait all right but you just remember I will shoot you if you try anything funny fine now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? And I'm going to give us the tutorial on... Um, yep, we know. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, let's check if we can, um, I can't, huh, maybe you get it after the train section. Why don't you drop down? Oh, Billy, will you jump down? Nope. Okay, well, I guess you're not meant to come down here yet. Come on, Rebecca, let's go back. I thought I could be smart and skip a bit. Head. 
Oh! You see, the controls fucked me over that time. That's what I mean when I say the controls have their issues with the camera. Hmm. Hmm. Is up here clean? No, it's not clean yet. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's locked. I swear this is why we have to go up to the fucking roof. Am I missing something? Yeah. No power. Full story, bro. Does this should take us to the conductor's office, which I believe has the key in it? I think everything you do is going to be dangerous if we're honest. Okay, what about the wires? Oh! Yeah! Bullets. Bullets be good. Yep, let's go to the left. And then we want to put that in there. Let's 
Now that I think about it, I should have had her stay in the train. She's just getting unnecessarily wet. And I imagine quite cold. Moving at however fast this train is moving cannot be a warm experience. Oh, it was just a light. I thought I saw an item shining. Now that should be the conductor's key. You see, my plan here is, if I guess that everything's the conductor's key, eventually I'll be right. That is not the button I meant to press. I will do that a lot, so get used to it. Conductor room. Conductor's key. Boom. Oh yeah, let's reload while we're here. I love this train section of the game. It is honestly the best bit of the game. Because it's not... I mean, the train's long, but it's not that troublesome to move across it. You know, it's, it's long, but it's not that big. It is, after all, just three... Three or four carriages of a train. So it's not, like, super big and annoying to move between. Where later in the game, when you have to move between, like, you know, the labs, through the gardens, you know, through the um, observatory, back through the mansion to get into, like, you know, the lab bits. It's just, I guess, so annoying. Where the train never really has that problem because it is so small and confined. You know, it may sound that like I don't like this game, and that's pretty much because I don't. I love the story, and I love a lot of individual parts of it. I just... I don't know. To me, that backtracking... I mean, there's always been backtracking in, Res backtracking in Resident Evil games. That's just, you know... I don't think I remember this. Oh, no, I remember this. This is the boss fight. Okay. Okay, let's take out a scorpion with a pistol. Lovely train, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. You see what I mean? Now, I'm going to just leave the ink ribbon. Pick up the ice pick so I can give that to Billy.
And here we have another problem with the inventory. Leave you there. Leave you there. So that shotgun doesn't just take up one slot. That shotgun takes up two slots. So you only want to hold it when you know there's a boss fight coming up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I told you I'd do that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to look at the window. I want to go out the door, Rebecca. Honestly. Oh. And boss fight time. Hello, giant scorpion that apparently we didn't know was on the train. We load me shy. Reload the shy. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. On it. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, it's dead. Which now means, like all dead things, you can just walk through it. And if I remember right, you can't get back this way. You can get this. Oh, you can. Oh. So if I go back this way, is this when... Does I know the fucking leech man turns up at some point? That's what the eggs are. No, that's not now. Well, I guess we go back the way we came then. Because we get the hook shot, don't we? That's what that reachy thing's for. Scorpion just vanished. The hook shot, by the way, is the most annoying item in this entire fucking game. Because it's an essential item. You need to have it for multiple points of the progression, like to progress the story. But, um, you know. It takes up two slots. 
which is literally a third of your inventory. <laughs> I left the fucking ice pick! Oh, for fuck's sake, inventory... This game! I want to love you, Resident Evil Zero. You just make it so hard. Cerberus. Cool, oh, that'll be useful for the suitcase. I guess I need to go get Billy so we can do it together. I was just going to leave him trapped in that room because I couldn't be asked to go back and get the fucking lockpick. Holy shit! Okay, you got me. Oh shit, you're not dead. Now you're dead, you wanker. Oh, I don't want to enter the... I'm just walking through the door now. Oh, I could take an empty bottle. That's a precious inventory slot, so nah, thanks. And that's the reason I never end up making Molotov cocktails in this game, despite the fact that they're really fucking effective against the leech dude. Because I'm gonna need that for the hook shot. So I can't afford to pick them bottles up. I just can't do it. That's inventory space I literally cannot afford. I'm gonna see if this opens up the shortcut. No. So if I only I remember that fucking lockpick, I could be in this car, the car I'm leaving now, and using the fucking hook shot on that open thing. But no, I had to forget the hook shot. The Fucking pit clock. Fucking whatever it was. There's a lot of parts of this game I like. There really are. But I just... The inventory ruins it. It just... You know, it's it's like shitting on the Mona Lisa. Yeah, it's the Mona Lisa, and yeah, the shit isn't over all of it. But it's still kind of ruined because of that shit. You know, it's still smeared there. You can smell it wherever you look at the painting. 
And it's just, I don't know, it's just annoying as balls. Okay, so I'm gonna need that um, lock pick that is right out of both cameras. Is that it? Yay. And then I'm going to pick this suitcase up, but I'm not taking it with me. I just want to pick it up for a second. Because I can get rid of an item here. Combine, boom. Oh, I purposely said, do you know what? And I'm going to use you. Just because then I am in good health. Yeah, absolutely. You like that painting, don't you, Rebecca? Right, now let's walk all way back. <laughs> do, do, do. Always look on the bright side of life. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> so many cars to walk through. I miss the tight level design of Resident Evil 1. You know, but instead of that, we just had sprawling maps and then have you have to walk through them multiple times. Let's see, uh, ice pick. Press the button. Billy should have the ice pick. Billy can now use the ice pick on the door. Fire zombies! This game looks fantastic. I want to say something nice about this game because I've been harping on about how annoying it is. And it is annoying, I'm, that I'll maintain. I'm not backing down from my stance. I've forgotten how to get her to follow me. Not that. This way. Okay. It is select. You. I'm gonna make a Molotov cocktail for once in my life. If for no other reason than I want the achievement, I. Fine. Boom. This is how you recycle. I'll go alone. Right. 
Roger. Oh, I did it the other way round. Yeah, take it, Rebecca. Come on, Billy. Stupid controls. Ah, that synced up really well. Use the use this. Hello, Deadhead. Mind me, I'm just gonna kill you now. Yeah, you're dead. Of course I can't because I've got the fucking hook shot. Right, in case. Open the suitcase, get the uh, card I need. Oh, no! Nope. Oh, look! Blue key card. Isn't that useful? I'll have some handgun bullets. Aha! This is when Leech Boy turns up and we get the shortcut. Yeah, we're here. Fucking leeches. You didn't stamp on him, but it's real annoying. Yep. We're here. Just go downstairs to Billy. Right, now we can get to the lead car. Is everybody double dead?
Yeah, I'm, not, I'm trying to use the car machine next to it. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Well, I'm sure it's safe out there. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. And by don't screw up, I mean don't forget that key card that... Very easy to forget. Oh, camera! Fuck off guys, I don't really have time for you at the moment. Sorry, no time. I don't think I have a choice here. Oh shit, you're right, right there, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, that's not Edward anymore, love. Oh look, the guy who was eating came back.
ำโอ้ no that's wrong We'll just pretend that was survivable. Ah! One minute, Rebecca. Ah! And all the deadheads have we deadheaded? Oh, that's how you do it. Switch. Use. I like both. That is an Easter egg from Resident Evil 2. It's got the mercenaries 3D on here. That's, I mean, weird, but ah, uh, I think we'll stick with the original. If I'm honest. That that is fire, Robin. Fire hurts. Hey, Hookshot. I hate you, and I'll be back for you in a bit. Can't remember when I need you next. Research Center? <gasps> the 
first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> if you're wondering, that room he's in, you find later, and it's literally behind this portrait. Oh my god! Moving is difficult, you know that? Right, let's have a save, because we haven't saved yet, and if I die, I'm not starting this entire fucking game again! No! No, Bobby, no! Okay, um, let's go do stuff. I actually lied, I sort of stopped the recording, I realised I was running out of hard drive. Hard drive space. So I kinda, you know, stop the recording, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do each section of the game, and then render it, and then like stitch them all together when I've got all the sections. So you got the train section, you got like, you know, the mansion section and all that shit. And the crank handel. Gee golly, I wonder if birds. Ah, got my drink, got my weed. We'll go for another section. Well, I want to check in some toys. Yeah, no, we're pretty good. Fresh bullets in the chamber. I just realised I've got the fucking mouse on screen. I'll move that off. Otherwise, that'll be annoying. Why am I going down here? I don't need to go down here. And believe it or not, this is a save room. And this is the interesting thing. Because you don't need to have the boxes and everything, safe rooms don't need to be separate rooms, necessarily. And that's kind of a cool thing, I kind of dig that. Kind of like how you had a um, typewriter in, um, well, it was in both places, two different places in Resident Evil 1. You had, in the uh, classic version, it was in the main hallway where you first start the game. And on the remake, it's in the um, dining room. Kind of like that, but they were safe rooms. There's nothing you could ever get to you in there.
Hey zombie. Are you both dead? Yeah, I think they're both dead. Reload. Ah, oh, inventory. Right. We'll give. No. No. Exchange. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, take all. Then you need to light that candle to, to go through the room, which I would do, but I don't. Don't have any lighter fu fluid for Billy's lighter. We'll take the map. Always useful. And then, who's going to go up here? Who has the most free spaces? Well, Billy with one. Mind you, we can drop that useless piece of shit knife. <coughs> Off. And then Billy can go here and let's split up. Roger. And that's even more useful. Did you go the one with the crank handle? Oh. Let's go. Okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. Oh, there was a choice to make there. Just realised I'm recording at 60 frames per second. I recorded the last bit at 30. I wonder why that changed. Let's check fraps. Oh shit! Oh, I wish I had my shotgun. Another one, if I remember right. Yep, there you are. Ow! Right. We can't carry this, can we? Oh, apparently we can. I might need to drop him later, though. Base A kit we don't need. See that bird there? Yeah, no, it's gonna try and kill me now. I'm gonna try and kill it first. Oh shit, it got me. Take that crow. It's a shame to say, I actually really like crows. They're one of my favorite animals. Oh, it's gone back to a it, it's switching between 30 and 40, but I've told it to only record 30, so that's actually kind of annoying. Not for any other reason other than... Oh. Fuck off, fuck off, and the mouse is back on screen. Ha! Well, you double died. Which is pretty, actually, convenient for game about zombies. Because, <laughs> yeah, I figure if it records a constant fate, then it's going to be a more pleasant experience. Oh, I've just realised something. I was going to turn the volume up for the game. Because it was a bit... S How do you do that? How do you turn the volume up? It's in the menu, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. I thought it would be in the pause menu. That's, that's where I'd put it. Yeah, the um it's been turned down a wee bit. So we just turn it up to about there, that should be good. Did I need to press confirm on that? I did and I did and 
something else I noticed that it was a bit quiet when um when I listened to it back for the first section. The Night Swords, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's later. That's when we get to the end of the game. Well, not the end of the... The end of the game is very far, but far away. <laughs> when we get to the end of this section. It is no unlock. I do believe there's a rocket launch, a rocket launch or a grenade launcher in there. Oh yeah, and bugs. Because there's always Ow! bugs. Yep, I can see the grenade launcher on the left hand side. Oh, fuck off, buggy! Oh, you always bugged me. I've got more terrible puns! Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to pick up the shotgun shells, love. Okay, this one now. Okay. I'm going to bring Billy over here. Deadhead. And you're dead. I haven't seen a leech man yet, have I? Yeah, we checked both of them doors are locked. Don't want to come out here. So yeah. And then Rebecca should be in here. Let's regroup. Roger. So I need the water key. Nope, that's not the map. God, you'd think I'd know the fucking buttons to this game. No areas that I've been to that do anything. We go downstairs. Yeah, there is. So let's go downstairs then. I know it's not complete, but it saves me holding it. If this is where it goes, it just needs to have the wings put on it. Book of Good and the Book of Evil, and they both contain the wings, the, uh, the angel and the devil, we need the devil snap tattoo, devil tattoo statue, words, I went the wrong way, this isn't downstairs, I literally said, oh let's go downstairs then, and then didn't go downstairs, I'm a fucking idiot, that's why. Right. 
right. Let's try this other one, actually. I think this is a dead end, more or less. The design of this map is so much, so bad compared to Resident Evil 1. This is where we meet Lee Chi. Or at least we do meet him in here at some point. <laughs> Yes, it is! Run! Damn it, he leached us! I know what I'm doing, I swear it. The sun is becoming an issue. I don't know why I'm speaking in not really any accent. It's sort of just a, sort of just a thing. How about him the image of a clock? Yeah. So as I was saying, pretty much a dead end. Oh. Okay, this way I think there's a... No, I'm thinking somewhere else that there's a ladder. Well, let's go deal with Leechy. There you are, I see your shadow. No! Oh. Billy, run! No! If your partner has a leech on them, feel free to shoot it. Bullets can't pass through leeches, so they will be fine. I believe you have a fire motif. Yeah, I don't remember this shit. Yeah, <laughs> well, considering we can't go this way because of that gas leak. Let's instead go this way. Now this is where the ladder is, there it is. Holy! So that's 
the statue's got them. What are you? Oh. Oh, inventory. Now this should bring us back through to the, um, well it should bring us outside near the observatory. Oh you lost your head. Yep. Nothing here. Will be later. The observatory um, when it moves comes out there. This should bring us back into the classroom. Yes, here. Rebecca, please. I guess I needed to go to the clock then. I thought I needed a key to open the clock, though. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Oh, we do the boss fight now. No, but you stay here. I'll go alone. Okay. Follow me. Yeah. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Move the machine, Bella. Notice the absence of any Rebecca down there. Oh my god, inventory! Can't leave it here! Fucking hell! Can I leave it here? Good! Fucking thank you! I don't like it. I really don't like it. I just... I have a thing with legs and this thing has too many of them. OK. 
game. Are we out of pistol ammo? Shit, we're out of pistol ammo. Oh, at least we've got a shotgun. Rebecca! Are you alright? Yes, thank you. Well, she can definitely share some. Um, exchange, boom. Okay, so how many is there? So there's 180, so we give him 60. Yeah, that'll do. Or, no, that'll do. Boom. Let's go open the fire door then. Oh, why are you not holding your gun again? And you, don't use that, that's for bosses. So now we can go to the kitchen. So that's cool. And stay dead. Oh shit! Shit, that actually made me jump. Oh my god, that sun is getting right in my eyes. Wow, lovely kitchen you've got here. Oh, I don't need it anyway, Billy does. For his lighter. Wrong button. Working lighter. Isn't that useful? Ah, nice sip of seven up, which means we can get through the door where the elevator is. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm having more fun than I was on the train. Don't know why, but I am. I've sort of warmed up to the game again. It's not annoyed me in a while. Then again, I haven't needed the fucking hook shot. I hate the hook shot in this game. <laughs>
Oh, the door's unlocked. How useful. Book of Good. Oh look, angel wings. Let's go put the angel wings on the angel statue. What's around here? I've forgotten. Another fire door. Rebecca. Maybe we'll find the Book of Evil in here and it'll be easier than I remember it is. Wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without a sliding puzzle, would it? Oh, no, Rebecca. Oh, you bitch. Yes, that's what I need to do the clock times. The time clocks. The whatever the fuck I mean. Okay, so, fire door's done, which has got us the Book of Good, now we can do the time, and we can do the angel statue. We might as well do the statue on the way, because we walked past it, there's a tree pressing against the shed I'm in, and I'm worried it's going to just come through. Oh boy, I need that shotgun for a little bit. How about you let it go? Boom. This opens them other two rooms. We're getting there, we're getting there. I think we're doing this rather well. This sun is starting to really piss me off though.
I forgot what time you need to put this clock for. No, I think I remember. No, wrong one. What? Fuck you, Robin. Fuck you, Robin. Thank you. Oh, just tap in A like fucking given. Remember, right? It's just a line. That's how I remember. Well, fuck my memory, I guess. Now I could go and look for the note that tells me. That would probably be the sensible thing to do, but fuck being sensible, eh? I'm just going to see if it's any of the hours first. <laughs> Okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. Um eight fifteen. Thanks, Payne. I did have the note. All along. So, 11, 10, 12, 9, and 8. It doesn't really matter which way round I go, just it's going to be the same amount of turns. Regroup. Roger. Right. Now let's go see what's in the rooms. One would presume the uh, water motif key at minimum. Oh my god. Ep ep it's quite cloudy, and every time the sun comes out from the clouds, it's right in front of the window. And it I can't see fucking anything on this screen. Because I just guess, fuck me, right? Oh shit, there's zombies in this room. Let's go to the other one, which I presume will have the uh, microfilm projector. Then, if I remember right, that gives us the code to the um, classroom. 
So then opens up the statue thing. Oh, now you're dead. Your turn, Rebecca. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck up, fuck up. Boom. At least we've got two items, two less items to deal with. Boom. The MO disc that comes from a device that looks like a Wii even though this came out on the GameCube before the Wii was a thing. I always just found that very interesting. Pardon me. Oh, that was disgusting. I didn't even mean to do that. That one snuck up on me. That one was a stealth burp. It was like, I'm gonna get ya. And I was like, mm -hmm, minding me in business. And then it was like, ha ha! And then I was all like, burp. And you were all like, uh, it's gross. And then I was like, oh, if I hadn't spent so long talking about this, I could have like, edited it out. But, you know, now that I've made a big deal out of it, I kind of have to leave it in. I'm worried you won't even know what I'm talking about. So that's another oopsie. Two D. Yes, there is. You stay here. Yeah. Nope, oh, can't just run across the roof. Let's go! Yeah. You stay here. Yeah. Microfilm image. Am I remembering this wrong? Okay. So, yeah, no, yes, I am. Billy was in the right place, Rebecca was in the wrong place. Billy, you're good, stay where you are. And the cat's went back the other way. Now we should open all of the doors with the armor. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, my legs got cramp in it. Oh, my legs got cramp in it. Oh, oh this chair is too big for this room. And I just pulled the fucking controller out, didn't I? Come 
on, let's plug you back in. Right, I'll go. Come on. Roger. Scientist. Hi, scientist. Oh my god. The sun is back. I hate it. Can't we just destroy it? I mean, I know we need it to live and stuff, but oh, I mean, that's over. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're dead. I have a backup. I need to do something important. This is important for like in an hour's time. Let's split up. Okay. Right. There's a chessboard. It is indeed a chessboard. I'm going to get my pad out because I've forgotten how to do this puzzle. Okay, let's just... Let's just do this. on the evil zero notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as I thought. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. So, Bishop. Bishop, Rook, what's that, Knight, and then that's another Rook at the top there, and that's a Queen. Cool, now let's see, yes, that is definitely different, so... Well, that's easy. The queen just needs to be moved down. I see. It's a memory puzzle. My memory shit. I'm guessing we have to move it in this particular way because we're moving it how you would in the game of chess. Maybe this is, there is a faster way to do this. Maybe I fucked up because I can't get behind the fucking coin. Fuck! Je 
or something because I've left it back here and that it's gonna stay the same. It's not gonna move, is it boy? Oh Jesus Christ. Come on. Yeah. You stay here. Yeah. Here was me thinking I was being clever. And I'm not. I'm just being a fucking idiot. Boom. And there we are, the book. Who has inventory space? Rebecca does. Take the book of evil? Yes. This diary, yeah, that's very important. I advise you read it in your own time, but as you can see, it's quite long and I can't be asked. Basically, just talks about where the T virus comes from and the history of Umbrella and all that. It's actually quite interesting if you're interested in the lore of the series. While we're here, we left fucking Billy. Oh, oh my God. get the first of the three stone tablets we need. No. No, we don't, do we? This opens up the door, the door where the painting is, the painting, the hidden painting door. I know what I mean, so it's okay. See, hidden painting door. Fucking spider. Oh good, no it is poison. I thought we're back would be poison there. Shit. And stay dead. It's locked. Oh, 
Same successful. That's nice. This would be one of the places they experimented on uh, Lisa Trevor. <laughs> Don't know why I found that so fun. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't see shit because of this sun. And the wind blew my door open, so that's fun. I'm almost there. I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. Close. Much further away. Aha, look. Now it's all coming up, Mill House. Myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. young man impossible but if somehow it is true then umbrella will be finished if the old conspiracy against dr marcus is revealed mr spencer's career will be over not to mention ours too so the time has come at last what are you going to do 
I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh, uh, I can't. Hold on. Oh. So yeah, um, that starts the plot that is continued pretty much until Resident Evil 5, <laughs> because Wesker and William Birkin are now both planning to go their own way and separate from Umbrella that they can pretty much see because of all the shit that's gone down here is, you know, not going to be around for much longer. So they're planning their exit strategies. And, um... Yeah, we get to see what both of them are. Both of them are definitely leaving Umbrella, though, which is, uh, interesting. I'll come back to that then. Where was it again? We're going downstairs. Yeah, it's downstairs. I'm going the wrong way. Could have been I checked the map then. I'll kill you. It's funny because I am in a rush. Oh, hold your hands onto the bales. Come in. Come in, I'm coming, I'm coming. Monkeys. God, I hate these things. They're so annoying. Promise to cooperate with each other. Remember?
This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir, I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him, over. Rebecca. My first mission and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. In the end, only four of us survived. There was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Do it. Then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. I isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. It's not long. Go back to the monitor room and um oh my god the fucking sun and well, you know what we're just gonna do that fucking puzzle in there I mean, we're right there. Oh, for fuck's sake, fucking camera. Oh my god, the sun is really starting to hurt my eyes. Go back behind a fucking cloud. Fuck off.
Okay. I can't see... I can't see the screen. <laughs> I literally cannot see the screen. Oh my god. This is really annoying. the dip? Does it spray? It's the food chain. You go up the food chain. So deer only eats grass. Wolf. You eat deer and shit. Oh no, it's um, it's prey, I'm trying to think, because I'm thinking the horse has to go somewhere and the horse only eats, it's pears. So it's um, wolf will eat deer. And then horse eats hay, well bear eats horse. Where's the bear? And then you got snake, which is eaten by the hawk. That was it. Because I was thinking, no way, the deer doesn't eat the horse and the horse doesn't eat the deer. That's what I was all thinking when I sort of stopped. I was like, ah, something's wrong. <laughs> What is this? One of the free tablets I need. Very nice. Battery would be useful. Because then I can get the other one from the roof. Billy. Billy can't mix herbs. Hmm, I didn't know Billy couldn't mix herbs. Oh, I probably did because I've played this a few times, but I didn't remember that is what I mean. I tend not to play this uh, this one as much as Resident Evil 1, which I know very well. Just because I don't like it as much. <laughs> I still like it, it's nowhere near my least favourite Resident Evil game. I don't know what would be. I know my least favourite main canon game. <laughs> but it's part of the main, you know, the central story of the series. And that's um, Code Veronica. 
I would talk about why, but I plan on playing it in a similar way to this. Okay. Okay. I need the battery, so there's no point in going outside until I have the battery. Go up here. Yeah. Let's go up there. Let's go upstairs. Or we could go further downstairs. Let's go further downstairs. Now that we've got help, as I didn't before because there's spiders down there and they could have killed Billy in this state but we've got health now so let's go downstairs right into the basement Fucking spiders. I'll do that with spiders. Oh, and she's poisoned. Damn spiders. Low herb would be nice. Branches and green herb is very nice, you know what I mean? Ha! I mean weed. Oh, this is where you get the challenge room with the hunters. This is the only time you get hunters in the game, isn't it? Didn't really get hunters in Resident Evil Zero. I think you're good, Billy. I mean, you can take some more pistol bullets with you. Only I had a locker key. Okay. Three eight five. Um. Cool. Here's the hanger. Roger. Right, you go in here. Nice. 
next to the center. That works for me. Battle sequence initiated. Locking door. Yep, now we have to kill a hunter. One dead. Yep, it is. I'm a badass. I love the hunters. They're such a cool design. Let's regroup. Roger. I'll hopefully find some health for you at some point. All right, okay, she's healed, that's good. Went in that that room, right? Yeah, we did. So now we can get into the water motifs and the monitor room. Kind of running out of disk space again. <laughs> Oh, I also want to go to the fucking hospital, don't I? Ow! Ow! It isn't here. Why am I here? Go to the door with the water motif. Where's the other door with the water motif? It's, I don't know where it is. It's where you fought the creepy bug. No, this is a time door. Shit! Of course, it's a fucking time door. Remember your way round, Robin. Don't get lost. It's what the game wants. I'm going past the, um, if I'm going where I'm going, which I am, good sentence now. 
can go to the monitor room, and then from the monitor room, <laughs> we can go to the room where we fought the giant millipede thing. And then from there, oh, for fuck's sake. And then from there, we can go to the observatory, drop off the tablet we have, and then from the observatory, we can go wherever it is we're going. What I did there was wrong. This is just where the, 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 this is just where the, fucking hell, English, my first language. Ow. Oh, I need that. I know what you can do, you can combine this. I am really close to running out of disk space. I might need to save and edit this before getting the other tablets. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna save it, I need to, because otherwise I'm not gonna have enough to export it. And that's me, I'm gonna have to wait until I get a bigger um, memories thing, and it's, that's just going to waste time, and I don't have any increments. She does, she has two, thank God. Right. I, I've done quite a lot. I'm glad with the progress I've made, and it's going to be instantaneous, but this is going up in one video. But I just need to think about how to do this on my hard drive. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're back. Less storage issue uh, issues now, because I I just bought a massive USB stick. I mean, it's 132 gigabyte, which is half of my hard drive. <laughs> I need to buy an actual hard drive at some point. What was I doing? Because I've forgotten. I know it's instantaneous for you, but it's not for me. Um, huh. That's where we were going. I remember. Have we been to the... We've been to the uh, monitor room. The mouse is on the screen again, Robbie. So we go through here. We should have Apparently Billy has the key. Right, so we still need the battery. Hey, Leechy. Oh, it reloaded. Run away! 
I've never actually, I don't think I've gone into a room when he's been detonating his legs before. I wonder if he counts as dead or not. Uh huh. It's basically two rooms to go in here. Three rooms in total in this hallway. That's not that bad. But it is two, it, it is a, a room that leads to two hallways that each lead. It's just this game, the map isn't that good. At least not next to the other maps this series has. You see, you could argue that the mapping code Veronica is worse because it's split up more. But even then, it's like, not really, because it's designed in a way that you only use each part of it once. So yeah, it is massive and spooling, but at the same time, it's also very, um, you know, it's designed well so that despite that, it's split into tiny little areas, you know, you never, there's no point where you have to go right the way back to near the beginning, like you do in this game. Well, this looks like a fun door. Oh. That's not, I need to go back to the hospital as well and get the chemical. Gotta remember to do that. Billy, move out of the fucking way, you gibbon. Okay. Doesn't appear to be much in here. Oh, it's leeching. Cool. Now we get to see if the one in here is dead. I think we're good. I think it's dead. Oh, I remember this. I'll check it out. Okay. It's not bad on that piano, is he? Yes, I can't carry it. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I knew picking up that ammo was a bad idea. Won't it? I don't want to be Billy anyway. Billy wants to stay out here. Rebecca wants to go in there. Because Rebecca can't play the piano as well as um, Billy.
And boom. Now I can come out. This way. Roger. No, I don't want that. Well, that means we can get another thing. Okay, so this is the only room we haven't been in yet. Yeah, this is the room that Marcus was in. Because there he is. I love that little detail. You see him in there in the um, cutscene, and then he's actually there when you get to it. Yay, we managed to avoid being bugged. Inventory, empty bottle. We'll, we can leave the empty bottle behind, can't we? Yep. And back this way. So now we can use that vice handle on the vice and get the second tablet. And then we can drop the two off at the observatory and go get the last one off the roof. I'll check it out. Okay. Come on. Okay. I think this is the right room. So we're getting near the end of this section. I will need to pick some things up. I need to go to the doctors and get the chemical. Oh, I love Coke. No, it's not this room. Oh, Coca-Cola is just like cocaine to me. Do, 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 do. Second tablet got. One more to get, but we need to make some stops. Oh, wrong, wrong way. I think this is easily the worst part of the game, if you ask me. This section. Which means it gets better from here. Get off me. I'll go alone. Okay. Hey, why? Roger. Yeah, Rebecca has the battery. Okay, Rebecca needs to put some stuff down. Can I exchange that with you? Boom. And we can just leave the ink for them. Because I want this.
No, we have enough shots in there. Easy peasy. Right, so there's bug things up here. You can freaking hear them. There we go. Reloaded. Ah, bug. You can stop sucking, Billy. That'd be good. I might try it soon too. And we're good. Nope, they're both on caution. Come on. I'll put the other one in. Ah. Uh, fuck you, I do. Okay. That's that cleaned out. Okay. Um. Can't remember where the infirmary is. Oh, I might just need to go fucking look for this. Oh, it's definitely not through there. And we know it's not through the door that's coming up on my left because we've just been through there. So if we go through this door I'm next to now, it's definitely not that. No, because that's the library there. So it could be that room. Let's go check. Right, so through here. So that's the chest room. So I think it is. I think it is through here. Oh shit, a monkey. Fuck, I hate monkeys.
Yes! I remembered why I... Ah, fuck it. Boom. Chemical. Come on. Take it, Rebecca. You need it. Now we can go out the front. No, we need to go to the roof. No, we d no, we don't. No, we don't. Battery in there. Now I can move the box down and use the box to reach the last tablet. Billy, fucking don't be an asshole here. I'll go alone. Okay. Ah, the amount of pushing stuff in Resident Evil. You gotta love it. That was kind of a thing of this generation, wasn't it? Because the two Raider games had you pushing a lot of shit, or pulling shit. You didn't pull shit in this. That was a Tomb Raider exclusive. Only Lara Croft knew the deep secret of how to, you know, pull. <laughs> and maybe that means that Lara Croft had better game. Ah. <laughs> Oh, it's clearly free, but okay, be a dick. See if I even care. I care immensely. Okay, box, asshole box thing. There we go. And. Tablet received. This way. Okay. So now we can move on. But first of all, we need to um, go and get the hook shot. Who has the best inventory? I think it's Billy. Yeah, Billy has two free. Billy can pick it up. And if you don't know, you need the hook shot here. Then you have to walk all the way back. And it is not a short journey, as you're about to see, because we're doing it one way. 
So bear in mind, if you don't know you need the hook shot, you need to leave from the front garden where we just were, all the way through the observatory, down the road, um, into the church. Which you're about to see how far. And then realize you forgot it because that's when you beat the boss and you need it after you beat the boss. So then you realize you don't have it and then you need to run all the way back here and then the final journey you need to do is what we're about to do now. So just uh, just pay attention to that. Because this is what I mean when I say it's just not good game design when you look at the other Resident Evils. Because there's never a point where you need to do that in the other Resident Evils. As long as you check every room carefully, you will never need to backtrack to this extent. There is backtracking because it's the way that you move around the house. You move around the house and you slowly unlock different parts of it. But you never have to backtrack through the entire fucking map like you have to here. And this is me knowing where I'm going, by the way. This is... I'm not having to check or anything. I know the fastest route there. I know where I'm going. So I've got that advantage as well. But remember, you have to do this three times, and it is really annoying when you have to do it. Just, you know, you go here normally when you have the three tablets. And then, does it never tell you you need the hook shot? So then you need to walk all the way back to get the hook sh uh, Walk there, walk all the way back to get the hook shot, and then walk all the way there again. And it's just, oh, fucking hell, man. Here we go. Cool. Time really hard not to burp right now. You shall notice there are bats. Right, now Billy, you're not going in. But I want you to leave the hook shot here. I'll go alone. Roger. It's just that Rebecca's gonna need it in a second. And we're in the church. Oh, I love this music. Right. Just because there's a boss fight coming up, I'm gonna save. Better safe than sorry, you know?
damn, I'm a bad shot. No. I'm a really bad shot. No. I'm a one more. No. Really? You're not dead. Oh. Am I out of ammo? Oh, I'm out of freaking ammo for that. Well, that's that sorted. Right, I'm just going to go in here and use the green herb because getting back in this church is a pain in the arse, so I'm never going to be back here. So basically anything in it might as well be used. Yes, like a hook shot would be wonderful if somebody conveniently left one right outside this door for me to pick up. Don't need you. Don't need you. I want to point out this is looking a lot less annoying than it normally is because I know this. I don't know this game as well as I know the first game, but I know it reasonably well. Just because I'm kind of obsessed with Resident Evil and I've played all of them numerous times, even the ones I don't like, like this one. Unlocked. Let's go meet Billy. Follow me. Yeah. There you are. I know you wonder why haven't you dropped the hook shop because you need it. Oh look. Leave. Oh, that's just the hook shot I just put down. Hey, Leechy. Yep, I'm fine. Didn't hurt me at all, did you, Leechy? You're harmless, really, aren't you? Oh, 
poop. Ow! Get off me, you leech. There's a button. Press it. Oh, I'll deal with him as Billy in a second. Oh fuck, it's locked. Oh look, it's a cable car. So we're gonna wanna remember that cable car for Resident Evil 2 when we get to it. Because uh, it leads to the same lamb. Ow! Oh shit! Shit! Oh, they're never quite as dead as you think they are. But, but this is going to be an hour and a half recording or longer. And if I burp in that time, it's going to be really hard to find that burp to edit it out. So I'm going to try and just not burp. I'm going to try and just deny my bodily functions. Okay, so I think we've got as far as we can with Rebecca. Let's swap over to old Bill. Remember, leech man out here. Let's deal with him. Friggin' Leech bastard! Oh fuck! I didn't mean to press. Did not mean to press that button. Well, now I get to enjoy an elevator vibe in two ways. Joy. I hate that it made you stay in the elevator. So annoying. Okay, back into terror. Where were we?
use. Boom. Cool. So I need to find the missing part. Progenitor virus. Yes, that's what became the T virus, which is found from a plant in Africa, which a certain um, group of soldiers was set to achieve. One of them soldiers being Billy Cohen. They were told to kill any witnesses, so they did. And then Billy Cohen took the full for it. So yeah, it's all connected. What we find out in Resident Evil 5, so fucking spoilers for a shitload of games away. Boom. Now we can send that to Billy. because it's for that door. And if you didn't know you needed that chemical, by the way, then um, you'd have to go all the way back to the infirmary from here. More useless back tracking. That's what I mean, it's just this game is full of it. I think I can hear a plane. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. Oh, this is useful to below us, Billy. Um, I was about to say, 
There can't just be that in here, because that's for the um, cable car room. Double die, Daddy. So look, it's the uh, the loot we need for Rebecca, which is useful. So send that to Rebecca, she can get through her door, which then I believe gets us into the cable car room somehow. I forget how. No, that gets us the thing for there. Oh, I'm Ringo. I'm Ringo Star. Ringo Star from the hit band The Beatles. Did Thomas the Tank Engine one time, I did. It was good. I like the puzzles in this game, that's something I'll say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like the way you have to work together with you and Billy and... Well, it's still been a very single player experience. See, Resident Evil, there's always sort of been two. Now I hear the local church. It's weird, I live in the city, you don't get church making noises. But when I'm staying with my parents, all the churches make noises. It's very rude, I don't like it. Ringo, doing my Ringo again. Oh. I don't like church. Ringo, the Ringo Star doesn't like churches. Put that one on the news. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not going to put the stuff in there. You wouldn't want me to put it in Oh, come on, we all knew we were going to do that, boys. Breeding room key. What the fuck is that for? Oh, it's for out here. Oh, that's useful then, I guess. There's a whole just bit of this I've forgotten. Should have reloaded my gun before I went in here. Well, hindsight 2020. Holy fuck me! Ah. 
Fuck you anyway! <laughs> About the code, so I still think it's nineteen thirty nine. Yeah, 939. So it's not that. Where is it? Marcus is diary too. There's always one way to cheat. Four eight six three. The internet told me. I. The internet told me. That's because I did 444 four, four and I meant to do 4863. Boom. Maybe I could use this. Rebecca here. Over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. 
Okay, so it never points it out to you, and it took me ages to realise this the first time, but you need the hookshot again. <laughs> but luckily, it's not this that far away this time. Now she can go back and get the hook shot. Which I say isn't that far away this time. See, this is where this is a better area. Because although it does have the backtrack in it, it's in a much smaller area, it's very confined. Unless you've forgotten something, you don't need to go back to the beginning, and if you have, then that is when the bad, bad game design turns up. Because that is a bitch, I fucking hate that. Like, forgetting the chemical and having to go all the way back to the infirmary is just... Oh. Boom, full health again. This way. Yeah. And up to go. I still hear the church making noise. It genuinely does annoy me. I generally think it's quite rude. I can't remember where that, where the well output regulator is, whatever the fuck it was called. Oh, it's right there. Oh, thank God. Pretty. 
I'm going on a cable car, a cable car, a cable car. Whoa, we're going. I thought that was not Wingo. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, slimy. I think I'll gross. Fuck off, leeches. Fucking oh. fuck off. And the cable car comes on again. Oh, it is pretty, isn't it? Don't know why that particular. Well, I don't know why, but that particular little scene of the lights turning on reminds me of Fallout 2. And I don't really know why. There's not like any bit of Fallout 2 that it sort of, you know, reminds me of. It's just the general feeling of Fallout 2 is like the lights turning on in a unused dank cable car apparently <laughs> Fight. I'll be seeing you then, mate. Oh. Crikey, that'd be useful, mate. And I'm fine again. Now, in the original Resident Evil 2, not the remake, the original Resident Evil 2, you go to this section. <laughs> but strangely enough, they they removed it in um, the remake. The lab section in the remake is really short. It's not bad or anything. They've, like, adjusted length of the... It, it works. They, they haven't shortened the game. They've just 
moves around the pacing. And I actually think it's a much better pacing, if you ask me. Because they've done things like, instead of just having, in the original, you sort of, you got a, quite a long way to run until you get to the police station. In the remake, you're pretty much instantly there. But then again, you go outside the police station between the police station and the sewer section, where in the standard game, you just go from the straight from the police station into the sewers. So they've, like, changed stuff. Peekaboo! Oh. This is where Mr. X comes out in the uh, in Resident Ow. Evil 2. Would you fuck off? Oh. Oh. You're not being very nice! Ah. Gonna kill you! Told you. But yeah, no, you don't go here for Resident Evil 2 Remake, just in Resident Evil 2 original. You up. Use combine. This room is made into another room in Remake. But you do go here in Resident Evil Original as well. But like I say, it's made into a different room in the sewers. But this room does kind of exist. Like I say, it's just not this room anymore. Okay, let's go find Billy. Nope. You. If it could be this key.
Again, this area has changed in Resident Evil 2 Remake, but in the original Resident Evil 2, this is a cutscene. Don't shoot! You're alive. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. Well, that's a downer. What I was going to say anyway is... This room that I'm aiming at now, this is the room that Claire puts um, Sherry in when she's infected on the... Um, Oh, Claire A. Leon B. scenario in the original. Just for a little context, we're in the same lab that we visit in Resident Evil 2. that we have the uh, elevator key then. Miss me. Oh, you didn't miss me that time. Shit. That hurt. I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Oh, good. That is the proto tyrant. We'll be seeing the um, a few more versions of the uh, tyrant throughout this series. <laughs> um, first floor is where you crash the train near the um, mansion training facility thing. I think level 3 is where... We, was, no, level 4 is where we want to go. So we're on level 3. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge.
Oh well, he's dead. Let's move on. <laughs> Ooh, handgun bullets. They're always very nice. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Well, this isn't going to work, is it? Ow. Um, on the second row from the left, hit the second from the top. So... There, right? That did good. That did very good. On the second row from the right, hit the second from the bottom. Second from the right, so this one, second from the bottom, this one. That didn't seem to work. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I'm going to get another thing up because I don't want to be here for ages because it's just boring to watch. Resident Evil Zero PowerPoints Power Supply Puzzle. Boom. Um oh, fuck off, fuck off. Two, two, three, five, and one, six. This feels right. Uh, three, five now. So, boom. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, one and six. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's going to be you, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> I'm getting there. Even with a fucking guide, I can't do this. Ow, stop punching that Robin. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god! Oh, fuck off! Yeah, 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 yeah! Change points, you. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's this one I fuck up. So three five. So three one two three four five. So that one. What am I doing wrong? Fuck you fuck this fucking puzzle. Two two. So one two one two. Boom. This is pissing me off. It's quite late at night. Oh, and I obviously need a fucking smoke. Okay. I'm going to get a video up. I'm going to mute the video. And I'm going to just fucking... Power supply. Blah, 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 blah. Watching the guide. Change points. Yes. So that one... that one so I got the I got the first one right and then it's that one I did I literally fucking did that I'm gonna watch this back and realize I didn't but I'm pretty sure I did there there and then there I'm pretty sure I did that I mean I obviously didn't Pardon me. Zombies are dying. Well, I mean, and zombies die. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, I answered that question for myself. Oh no, it is the Leechy man. Ow. Fuck you, Leechy. Leonardo de Leechy. You get it because you're leechy. Run, 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 run. Miss me! Wanker. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that, man. I'll just put my gun through the wall and then reload it. You know, like you do. Pinball! Ah, I love pinball. Right, so I need a battery for the forklift. That I remember. Because there's something up there, and I need it. 
And if I go around here, yep, battery needed. Fucking fuck. First things first, I need to find Billy Boy. Fuck off Dell update, I don't want to install fucking updates now. Yep, can't do that puzzle without Billy Boy. And that is the worst puzzle in the game, that is possibly the worst puzzle in the series. I hate that puzzle and I will be using a guide for it, I don't even fucking care. Because it's just trial and error, but to reset it you need to like, it's just cumbersome to reset it, you need both players to leave the room. And it's just, it's just too much effort. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? It's locked from the other side. Well, at least now we can do the worst puzzle in the game, because after it's done, it's done! A woo! Come on, Billy! It's good to have you back, by the way. Let's split up. Okay. Right. Okay, I don't want to fuck this up. So I'll push the steel bots towards the wall where the crank is. This feels wrong. Nope, there's a guide across the IGN guide bot. This feels wrong. It just feels wrong to me, bro. My bad guide senses are tingling. Right, on the IGN guide. Power plant. Not power plant, treatment plant. Right. Okay. Oh, fuck off. I hate how fucking IGN loads. It pisses me off now, all the fucking ads and shit. Um, to make things easier, let's number the three blocks you'll be moving. Block one um, will be the westernmost block, the closest to the bottom of the ladder. Block two will be the other brown box in the first section. The third brown box on the... Um, finally, box number three will be the grey box. Now let's tackle this in steps. Move box number three all the way east. Never, so, never eat. Yep, so this way. Boom. Switch to Rebecca and rotate the machine right. Move block one all the way south. 
get you out of the way first. No! God, I'm a fucking gibbon, aren't I? This is fun to watch. I hope you like watching that rotate slowly. Because it's what we're going to be doing for the next five fucking minutes. Fuck off. So what we're trying to do is make a bridge. So we're going to fill this with water and these are going to float. So what we want to do is, like I say, we want to make a bridge here. Have I fucked this up? Fucked it up. I fucked it up. Okay, I'm not using the guide anymore, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay. Now, if I move that, I'll oh, fucking move it right again. Then I'm a fucking idiot. Well, we all knew that. We all knew I was a fucking idiot. I just realised I need to be the. <laughs> okay, right. Billy needs to be the other side. Billy needs to be here. Move you all the way over here. Now rotate right or left, you know, whatever. Yes, you don't have to tell me these are the controls. I know what they are. You've told me 7,492 billion fucking times. I'm getting stressed. I think what it is, is this puzzle is so late in the game. And there's like, normally you've done so much ba I just... Resident Evil Zero has a lot of good ideas. And then it just has... Just so much bullshit. Just so much. And I want to love it. I really do. Like, I love the idea of... I love Come the... On. Yeah. I love the idea of these two working together. I love the story in this game, the background we get on um, the events around Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. And it's just 
really fucking cool. The boss fights are amazing. All of them are amazing. And that's friggin' impressive. I mean, I'm playing this on easy, so they're going down like fucking, you know, anything. But when you play this on normal and you're not sort of, you know, when you're actually casually playing it. Then they're a bit more challenging and they're just, like I say, awesome. They have really nicely telegraphed attacks. So you can, you know, easily, if you know what you're doing, avoid getting hit at all. But if you don't, then you're going to get punched. You're going to get hurt. Like, I like the idea of being able to swap items between players. I like the idea of these puzzles Ow! that need you to work together. It's just really cool. I also love the graphics. This game is just fucking so beautiful, and I love it. I really do. But then you've just got, like, unless you know this game well, it's hard to avoid the shitload of backtracking you're going to have to do at multiple points, and that is just... It just feels bullshit. Hey, cadaver zombies. And then, like I say, you've got the borderline terrible layout of the map. Billy, do you not have any pistol ammo? You do, but not enough. You're dead. Oh. oh, you're not. Well, now you are. But it's just, I don't know. But this game has more flaws than it does, like, upsides. I also love the way it ties into Resident Evil 2, exploring the same lab and stuff. I mean, it's, in a really weird way, kind of been muted for that because, you know, Remake doesn't use the same lab, which is a bit weird. Like Resident Evil 2 Remake. And that kind of mutes the, um... The effectiveness of re revisiting the areas in Resident Evil 2 when you no longer go to them areas. God, that actually made me jump. I have a feeling I've forgotten something. Hello, Foggy. This, uh, them fog monsters you won't see again until the latter half of Resident Evil 3, which is really cool. I love that they make. I love that they make an appearance. Does it connect Resident Evil 3 into the series really well? Because you see enemies that you see only in that game until this one, but like in nice, new shiny graphics. Fuck off. Miss me.
pretty sure you have to fight Proto Tyrant. Yeah, this thing doesn't die that easy. Like Moe's Fuck off, you slimy smelly fuck. Oh you wanker. Now you're dead, what of it? Stop my wiggle and look! There you're dead. Oh, it's here. I know where this is. This is relevant later. Right, so it obviously goes to the same area where we meet up with Billy, or it goes to a different area. Let's find out which! Take the motherboard. Yep, it went to its own little area, just with the motherboard. Pretty sure we need the motherboard for the um, trolley thing. I forgot what it's called. It will tell me. Gondola! That was the word I was looking for. Oh look, there's a uh, missing motherboard. I'm pretty sure I do need it! Does it now? If I knew I had a computer I was trying to Plug it into. Oh, now you work.
That's convenient. And annoying. Oh fuck. You. Last time I played this, I forgot that and I couldn't remember where it was. No, I don't need, no, that's what I meant to use. Just looking graft. Oh look, one's broken. Gee golly gosh, I wonder if when we get that battery from up there, they're going to break out. Well, that's inconvenient. Alright, let's swap back to Billy. So we control him now. We can go down here and I'm pretty sure we can open one of the doors near where, near where Rebecca is. I don't need to kill you. I just want to. Makes your death really pointless. But I like you because you're a Resident Evil 3 monster. Resident Evil 3 is my favourite classic Resident Evil. Door is now unlocked. Hey there, this Rebecca. Way. Okay. It's a question how do we get that? Where does this lead? Because I don't remember this far in the game at all. Right, so this is the corpse room of all of these corpses. Oh, for fuck's sake. So what have I forgotten? Because I'm missing something. No, it's not that.
god, I'm gonna have to go back the way Billy came. Come on, Robin, we're near the end, we can do this. It's ten past midnight. Does Rebecca have any healing items on her? No, she doesn't, so she can pick that up. Also, You can change them with them. Billy can have them all. And then Billy can give you the Magnum ammo. Because he doesn't have a Magnum, but you do. And you can combine them with that. Just a bit of a tidy up. She realized I can't go this way because only one person can go up that fucking thing. Oh my god. I know I'm on the home stretch, but I've been playing this all day. <laughs> Well, actually, I've been playing this all of yesterday, considering it's past midnight. I feel like there's something I'm missing in this room. Because I can't... Oh, it's that simple! God damn! <laughs> oh, isn't that the way? We'll leave the uh, Magnum ammo. I know, we've faced these things before. Not that scary. Right, empty battery. So I need to make battery fluid now. Now if I'm right, this brings you out where the cable car is. And I'm not, it brings you out to the corpse room where you meet Billy.
You see, I've played this game four or five times. This is my fourth or fifth playthrough of this game. So, although I haven't played it as much as I've played Resident Evil 1 and the such, it's not like I haven't played it a lot. And I just, I still don't remember this area. But I remember every part of the first game, just off by heart. The only issue I have with the first game is I forget what happens in the version I'm playing. Because it's a bit like, uh, am I playing Deadly Silent Rebirth mode? Or am I playing, um... Oh, the director's cut version with the, you know, new camera angles and stuff? Or am I playing the original PS1? Or am I playing the GameCube remake? And I tend to just... I tend to get a little bit confused between the versions more than I do, you know, anything else. But I know the map off by heart, and it only takes me a little while of being like, Oh, no, no, that happens in the other version. And then I'm good. So now do I mix that with this? Okay, battery fluid! Fucking A, look at me! Oh, herbs. Yep, we can probably... go back and take them because Billy is an idiot and can't mix them. It is the only person in all of Resident Evil history that can't mix these herbs. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's an idiot. Deadhead. Oh, mouse. Got to remember to move that mouse. Boom. You stay here. Yeah. This way. Roger. I don't think the AI can figure out how to get down. Now I completely forgot what the fuck this key card is for. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's that? What are you? So you're where I left the Magnum ammo, so I want to go back this way, right? I want to go to the room where the bugs broke out and where I got the battery from. I think. I 
I think my favourite Resident Evil games would be one, one remake, three, two remake, not two classic, just remake, and um, four. Four would be my least favourite favourite, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's at the bottom of my favourite Resident Evil li list. Right, this is where I left the Magnum ammo, down here. Yeah, it's here, I am no. Can't be here. Oh, fucking hell yeah, it can be. I'm just a fucking gibber. Wonder why that shotgun's ammo is there. I'm pretty sure it's a safe room for here. Or not. Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Take over your research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the key virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. We'll see which one of us is gonna die. See, how fucking cool is that? Fucking fuck, fucking fuck, fucking fuck!
What a cunt! Billy, figure this out. Let's split up. Okay. Okay, stop pressing A, Robin. Oh my god! Okay, well, it would help if I had you going down the right way. Roger. I'll go alone. Roger. Very nice. Very, very nice. Honestly, you'd think that they were getting us ready for some sort of final boss. I'm gonna save just because I don't want to die on the final boss and have to redo. Like, when was the last time I saved? When was the last time I saved? I think it was in the, um... Oh! Before you get the train down. Like, about an hour or so ago. I'm gonna use it now the time, right? Well, that's fun. Get up, go back up.
Follow me! You work on the windows! Got it! I'll use my charm to distract your majesty. Focus on me, Queenie. Oh. Four twenty blazer. Oh shit. That's right, focus on me, sexy bitch. Go on. All me, focus here. That's right, focus on me, sexy bitch. Reload. Ah, shit. Oh, well, because she started on that one. <laughs> How is my health doing? Oh, I'm actually fine. Rebecca could do a little bit of healing. Oh, shit. One more to go. This boss is so tense on anything other than easy. The ah! Thanks for Becky. Well, I've definitely got her attention. Come on, whore. That was a weird thing to call this boss. There we go. All done. Game complete. Hey, that must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodbye.
Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. You're okay? I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Edward's dead. I see. It's not much better on my end, either. We got attacked by those things, and had to split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding, or... We just have to find Enrico. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First, we have to get to someplace safe. Where could the captain be? It's Enrico. I'm sure he's fine. <sighs> Okay. Welcome to Umbrella Chronicles, not Dark Side Umbrella. Yep. Bees, look out! <laughs> Where's the bee? Oh, fuck off, bees! I mean, there's the bee. And my name is Michael with a B, and I've been afraid of insects my entire life. Stop, stop, stop. Where's the B? There's a B? I don't know why I'm putting rice. I hate that. Can't shoot through that window. But it does hit the zombie. But the glass doesn't break. But it does hit the zombie. Just want to think about that for a second. <laughs> the glass doesn't break, but it does hit the zombie. They could have programmed it just to do that sort of effect on the glass. You know, quick little one of them with some like white glass shard effects. Or they could have had, you know, just nothing, I suppose. Or they could have had the glass break and the zombie move. But no, they went for the one that looks the worst. Spider. Yep, and to shoot individual tiny little spiders that also just jump onto my knife. 
There you go. This is fun. Just wiggle in. Shot that spider good. These spiders are everywhere. Let's get to the room and back. We made it. Not yet, we haven't. I'll just do this. Yeah, I'm cheating. I've used a save file I've downloaded off the internet because. I don't like this thing. Um, basically, going to that more in a bit. But also, I suck at this game, and I didn't want it to be really hard and just replaying the same bits. Yay! The first aid. I thought the captain might be here. At least we can stock up on supplies. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. It's, all, it's just boring. I mean, there's nothing to shoot. You're just slowly walking down the stairs. And if you die before you get to a checkpoint, then I hope you like slowly walking down the stairs. Because, boy, you're going to have to do it again. the bees oh come on bee bastards buzz off will ya One thing I'll give them, it's clever how they did all the um, connecting it all together. Like we never knew where that hole led. I hate spiders. All right, let's go down then. And then I immediately have to take them points away because you walk into a spider. Just sort of phase through it. Wait a minute, we're in the original game. The two mansions aren't that close. No, we were just in the residence. Sorry, I've had a bit of a smoke. I was a bit, um... Yeah, no, the residence and the mansion are that close. That does make sense. I was thinking they went from the um, training facility in RE0 to the um, mansion in RE1. And I was like, nah. No, no, that does make sense. I'm mistaken there. it's these bits when you just don't do anything boring and then the other bits are too hard so there's like no good in between i'm just making a light show Whee! we should Woo. be able to get back above ground <sighs> finally i 
Okay, I'm gonna move this as fast as I can to the right. I'm gonna move it in three, two, one. Three, two, one, now. You see what I mean? Slight delay. Now. Now. I'm gonna tell you what, uh, I'll tell you when I start moving it. I'm gonna start moving it now. Very slowly moving it across the screen now, and you can see it better there. When I do it slowly. I think it's because it's more pronounced. I'm just gonna do this. Ah, uh, and I'm dead. I have to watch all the bullshit again. Fucking love this game, I do. Fucking love it. Honestly, it's so good. Oh, Bernella Cart, you know, Bernella. Fucking Cart. Maybe a bit too bitter against this game. What other guns do I have actually? Assault shotgun and machine gun. Machine gun would actually be useful for when I get out there with the snakes and shit. God, I suck at this game. God, I should have picked up that herb after them bats. We should be able to get back above ground. Oh, finally. Do do do. Oh, they all dead. Go, 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 go. Yep, they're invincible. You can't kill them when they're, until the time that you're meant to kill them.
Come on. Come on. All died. Thank you for the help. Can't die yet, I have to wait to open the gate. Can't go before you open the gate. Can't die until they're meant to die. Can't even see the snake on this floor. Doesn't blend in too well. No, until they're dead and then they glow white for some reason. Oh, where did they come from? Let's take out them three bees. There are monsters everywhere. Rebecca, we're going in. The other place was filled with them too. It's easier to mount a defense in a building. There might be survivors. We made it to the mansion, but stay on your toes. I will, Millie. I hope you're okay. Damn, they're here too. Didn't fucking oh, we did we really fast? I don't like this game. I'm not fast. I mean, I'm. A... Oh. Are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm all right. I must have had a bad dream. What? Uh, nothing. See, I've edited it out, but that's the second time I've heard that same line given in the same way. Probably not going to be the last. Probably not going to be the last one I edit out. Don't care. It's gonna be a long night. Something feels wrong. Richard. Hey, don't forget, we're elite members of STARS. If we remember our training and keep our cool, we'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. Oh man, that herb was good. I needed that herb. Nothing can break through the windows. Because we know the windows break after this. So nothing can break the windows. are going from bad to worse. We have to find him. Rebecca, watch out! Why is there a bat in the house? Oh, good, another herb. God, I am... I'm not very good at this game. Because I do not play really light shooters, like, at all. Finally made it. Well, looks like we'll have to find another way. Oh, I hate hunters. You know all those bizarre accidents that have been happening lately? Yeah, you don't have to say it. I know they're related to this too. Those were no ordinary murders. There's something more going on here. We have to get to the bottom of it. Our main mission now is survival. Having all the information in the world won't do us any good if we're dead. I know, but... Don't worry, Rebecca. We'll expose all of this. But for right now, we have to focus on our job. Oh, no checkpoint. Just bloody loading screen. Give me a checkpoint, damn it. Okay, that was fun.
Right, when Chris gets here and he asks about all the bullet holes, we'll just point him at the back up. Come on, die. Oh, die and give me a fucking herb. Well, there's a checkpoint. Oh, come on, a checkpoint. Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Let's move. Yeah. That has to be a checkpoint, right? Oh, thank fucking hell. What way are we going to get where we need because we know where they end up. They end up in the hallway near where Yawn is. Our captain is out there somewhere. So don't give up hope. Besides, I'll back you up. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? That thing. Oh, you gotta love yawn. Did you get it? Come on, let's get out of here. I love yawn. Nope, well, I wonder if I keep missing all the hell. Yep, we're dead. Okay, maybe use the machine gun. I think that would be better. Because we just, we don't need to kill it at this point, it doesn't have a health bar. I can't kill it if it doesn't have a health bar. So, if we stick to using the um, machine gun. Right. Oh. 
Let's get that. Did you get it? Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, I think it's definitely easier with a machine gun. And I've got the health this time, that's nice. Yep, definitely easier with a machine gun, that I can tell you. Yeah, that is much easier. Finish it off, Rebecca. How the hell did Yawn sneak up on her? Now I want to use the bloody um. It's got a health bar, and I've got a hand cannon. I oh, go on the hand cannon is doing that. The man bell keeps me. Yeah, we will. Just... Why are we not moving from here? Radical fucking idea. Oh, I didn't realise it could fly. And this is an absolute copy of the time you fight it in the main game as Chris in the in not the main game, not the actual remake in this light gun shooter remake of the remake. Oh my god, the remake and remake, I've never even realised that. Oh, he's doing this fucking hokey pokey bullshit again. Fuck off. Oh, I fucking hit it as well. Fucking piece of shit. I hate this game. Finish it off, Rebecca. I'm with you. It went up. Yes, it did, Rebecca. And this is when the snake flies and I hit it and it still doesn't even notice it's been hit. Come on. Yeah. 
and let us stupidly move back into a position where we know it has the advantage. Because, you know, elite members of stars get a license with every special box of cornflakes. Oh good, we didn't go back up there. Come on, we're nearly dead. Yeah, no shit. I thought I was going to concentrate on something that wasn't the giant snake trying to kill us. Come on. Damn you, you're... Come on, die! You're going back upstairs. Oh, you bastard. Hate you up there. I hate that we're not smart enough to fucking move. Like, he literally has the drop on us. Why are we giving him this advantage? Oh, and this is when he flies as well, isn't it? Hey, stay with me. We'll make it through this. I know we will, Billy. You're not Billy. I don't care who you are. Messed up good. Some backup I made. Richard. Don't make that face at me. We've still got to have hope. Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. how hopeless I felt, seeing Richard lying there, wounded. I had to be stronger. I had to fight. And I had to survive. No matter what happened, I'll prove I have what it takes to survive. Wesker here. I will use the ropeway to return to the training facility and depart from there. should be down below. Uh, we're playing as Wesker in between these, so we set to see what he's up to when he amasses the stars. This isn't really necessary or needed, it's just, you know, it's pretty obvious he went to the mansion.
I don't like this game, by the way. This is definitely one of the worst ways to do the games. Uh, I've got one of the most powerful guns of the game because I downloaded save file from the internet because I don't like this game and I didn't want to unlock everything. And I didn't want to replay it normally and die a load of times because you're literally repeating the same animation through the same place. It's just it's like watching the same bit of footage over and over again. I, I do not get what's entertaining about the like gun shooters. Oh my god, good, I had that. Okay, hold this. Oh fuck off, you stupid monkeys! You're bad enough in Resident Evil Zero. Just wasted all of my grenades. I don't like this game at all. <laughs> uh, I am not having fun right now, basically. Because this game is just bad. It's just bad. Like, you see this slow looking around animation? Yeah, I hope you like looking at that every time you die, which is quite a lot in the normal game. Because this game is fucking brutal. It's hard to really explain unless you're controlling it, but there is this maybe half a second or maybe even like just a third of a second. Like delay on where you point and where the pointer is on the screen. Which means aiming is like, just feels really unresponsive and slow. And it is just the worst. The entire game is just not fun. Oh look, it's this puzzle we uh, did in Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, if you died before that, you'd have to watch every bit up to here again. Like, yay! I want to see the same shit again with minimal impact. Like, this could be one of them crappy DVD games. Okay, it's better than one of them, but it's not far. But I just, I get it in the arcade because you're with your friends, it's a laugh. You know, it's like, oh yeah, let's have some fun, you know, and you're sort of playing around with the toy guns. But here you've just got a Wii remote. You don't even have like a toy gun. I mean, you can use the shooter, but that's not like the ones in the arcade, they actually have the clip come back and it's pretty cool. And this bit is not hard, you just wiggle the Wii remote like you do in like every Wii game. Same for these. Sometimes they hit you, sometimes they don't. It's like playing the lottery, but you don't buy a ticket, it shoots the numbers. But yeah, it does tell original bits of the story, even though the original bits of the story are Wesker went to the power station and turned it on and got on a bit of train. Oh, there was a redux um, actual cutscene from Resident Evil Zero. Oh, and it, um, it boasts that it's a light gun shooter remake of Resident Evil Zero, One and Three, and it's not. You don't do any of the shit you do in Resident Evil 3. It's all set on one day in in here, and it's like one of the most important details of 3 is that it's specifically set on two days. Oh, it's actually set over three days, but on two days. The 27th of September and the 1st of October.
And yeah, that doesn't even happen. Like, one of the most important details of that game just misses. You don't go to the clock tower at all. You fight Nemesis in the police station and you kill him because he falls off a roof. I like this gun. Apparently even this refuse has T's recovery ability. The B.O.W. still needs a little more work. Well, I mean, that is like the earliest incarnation of the Tyrant. They're not really like that anymore, are they, Wesker? They're more like Mr. X and Nemesis, which is the up-to-date ones of this era. And I suppose all time, because this is the end of their era. I had best hurry. Okay, well, I'm using my pistol there by mistake. I can just use this. Oh, fucking monkeys! They're dead. Oh, no, apparently. If you don't see it, it doesn't count. I am doing terribly even with this cheaty, cheaty gun. Oh, yeah, zombies will just spawn when you're not looking there in this because, you know, having them actually placed and having to move around the environment, <laughs> that's like hard work, isn't it? Oh, they just glitch through the box. It's... I'm not going to be nice to this game when I'm playing it. I don't like it. Oh, it would help if I could aim. I don't know why I hate these monkeys. You know why? Because I suck at shooting them! Really, really. You're just a single shot. You're big. Come on. Well, I didn't see it, so they're obviously still alive. See you know what I mean? That's how explosions work, right? If you don't see them hit something, they don't actually hit it. Yeah, this is a wiggle bit, not a shooty bit. I'll just uh, just wiggle my hand. Oh, that we're done. Mm. 
engaging. However, as an engagement, I'd like to see no two. Wrong window. You see what I mean? You were literally just looking down there and they weren't there, but no, they just fucking spawn. It's cheap. That's what this game is. Cheap. Every part of it is cheap. It's like um, Resident Evil 3. The reason why you don't do most of the shit you do in Resident Evil 3 is because they didn't remake any of the um, levels or assets or anything. They simply um, took the existing Raccoon City levels used in the Outbreak games and, you know, slightly modified them to work in, you know, this game. And that's, that's all it is. All the assets for this game are obviously, um, you know, taken from um, Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil One as well is taken from Remake. You know, it's just lazy, cheap, fast. It's like. You know, if this did actually it was good, you didn't have the shitty delay. Actually, I'm trying to sort of show you the delay, but obviously without the remote you can't even see it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look, it's annoying because I know they're there and I want to look at them, but I can't because apparently it's not the part that I look at them. And it's annoying when you line up a shot and the head moves, so you just can't see it, you know. Fuck you, I guess. Video games are about control. Movies are about letting go of control and letting the director, writers and all that show you specifically the things you're meant to see and not meant to see and stuff like that, which allows for neat tricks like, um, you know, um, deceitful narrators and all that. Which is really interesting, because if you're seeing something from somebody's perspective, it's not necessarily what's happening, it's what they're perceiving to happen. But um, video games typically work best when you've got more control because they are the idea is you build a world and you let the player explore it and move around it with their own free will. This doesn't have that. Where might you be going, comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. And now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like. Maybe you need a little reminder. This should be intriguing. First time. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. 
We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion, and the real struggle was about to begin. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Have found it yet? No. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. And now we begin the first game which is the second game in the continuity.
Wonder what's around here. Yeah, fuck killing that thing without a gun. Uh, we'll take the ink room because this game is less annoying with items. We're playing with Chris just because he has Rebecca in his campaign and that ties in nicely with his new Zero. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Will you take the handgun? Yep. And they've changed the buttons around, that's fun. Yep, all the buttons are now different. Right, so now that's aim. What used to be map is now aim, and what used to be eight, um, can I change that? Because that's a really annoying. Okay, this looks better. Apparently, I didn't say, oh, we'll just get used to the new controls. So, aim, menu. So yeah, um, this game, I've played as Chris more in the original version, more than the remake, and I normally play as Jill in both, so I, I know Chris's campaign a lot less than I know Jill's. Even though I do know this house rather well, so I don't think it'll be that much harder. I'm going to go for the true ending, which means I need to save Rebecca twice and get all of the MO discs. Now I know this is just a trap, but I will not, I just, it will feel wrong if I don't explore it. I know. <laughs> that is the biggest zombie in the world. That's fire, I found fire. They moved fire as well. Oh, they've changed all the buttons. Yep. Emblem of Sword, you can lockpick that with Jill. Chris doesn't know I had a lockpick, apparently. Oh, let's go kill that zombie we started with.
Oh, he's gone. I'm in every room down the other side of the hallway as well. Yep, they'll come in like right, useful when I get to a safe room. That guy isn't as dead as he looks. Well, I mean he is, but he's like undead, not dead dead. Now, I need to go through here because I need to refresh myself, but I'm pretty sure this is where you need to put the false key that you get off the dog. Yeah. Perfect. And to get the dog, you need the whistle. Oh, well, you went down easy, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't think you were actually dead. What about now? Are you gonna bleed? Yeah, you're dead, you're bleeding. Damn it. Guess I'll take the golden arrow. I'll examine it and take the arrow head off. Look at me. Already destroying property. Remember that, sir. From the other side. You unlocked it. This should bring me out onto the balcony. Where there are, if I remember right, two zombies. I'm playing on easy so we can pretty much kill them all. Here. Press the one button for the menu. Ooh, I love this. I love the just the lighting and the graphics in this game are fucking amazing. This is such a good game. I love this game. There's a key. Will you remove it? Yes. Yes, I will. Book of Curses. That I don't care for reading because it basically says get the corresponding masks and put them on the right things, you idiot. We'll examine you, spin you around, and see that you're the sword key. Dope. Let's go get to the first safe room. Because I need to unload a lot of items. I love this game so much. Replaying it is always a pleasure. Uh, 
Ah ouais. Gee golly gosh, I do wonder if some doggos are going to come through there, because they're not. Yeah, they come through in the other version. That's what I mean when I say it's very easy to confuse all the versions, because this... The amount of different versions and remixes of this mansion are amazing. Hey Chris. Yeah, I need... Now you're the, yeah, you're the bathroom, and there's no point in going into the um, sandwich room. Because I don't have the false shotgun yet, and Barry isn't with me. No point going in there yet. Oh, there we go. His head popped. Oh my god, even the music, it's fucking, ah, oh, it's beautiful, I love it. Pardon me. What? Why has that popped up? Come on, back on the game. Right. So this brings us into the Crimson Heads. Any zombies that you haven't burned or their head has not been destroyed, like the one that was here, they will uh, remain. And they can come back even more powerful. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Going this way now. Sure would be annoying if you had a friend just hiding around the corner to be a dick. Oh, that's not in this version. <laughs> I'm gonna do that a lot. I'm going there, and I need the wooden lighter to get the map from this room.
this door doesn't open from this side. So let's go through here. Word. I think this is the sword door. No armor. My bad. I don't think the lighter counts as an item. That was the shed door. Smash is shut because of the wind. Is the lighter not here? Is that in a different version? Yeah, I can't get any more items. Damn it. See, Chris has less inventory, which I'm not that used to. Armour. What I want to do is I want to try and unlock every door I can with the sword key, because then I just don't need it anymore. Armour. Take you. Now, where do you lead? Oh, no. Yeah, no, you lead to the stairwell and this door, which leads outside. But this also leads to a safe room. <laughs> I know, I know. Being dead sucks. Not even the life of the party anymore, and that's good because you don't have a head, so I don't need to worry about you coming back. It's lock, helmet, locked combination. Oh no! Oh! I'm gonna do that a lot, as I said, because between all the votes, this is leads here. Oh, that's useful to know. Just because between all the versions of the game, yeah. Because you've got... Oh. I'm going to come through here a lot, so I'm going to... Just use this. To burn you, because this is a really tight hallway. And then we're going to want to use this as well. Boom. Safe room. I need to get used to not having a health item. Because I don't really need it and it's more of a safety blanket than anything else. Wood I can just get from the safe room right near, near where I'm going to need it. Chris already has a lighter apparently, where Jill doesn't. We've done all we can here.
Fine. There's got to be still one or two more doors that I need the sword key for. So I'm just going to go and try and find them. And then we can work on getting the armor key. Yeah, I know that Joel's there, by the way. I didn't not say it. Just, I don't need it at the moment. Bye. Armor. Pretty sure this is helmet. There's no further use for this key. Discard. Yes. Boo-hoo. I know there's the kitchen food there. But I don't think there's anything in the kitchen, is there? Yeah, it's locked from the other side because he's come back here much later. Well, you take the old key. Yummy kitchen. No, not that one, Jesse. Okay. They're dead. Well, double dead, but they might be double undead soon. Uh, crimson heads. Okay. How much inventory space do I have? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Now let's go collect all the items that I didn't pick up. Okay, now. No. They are teasing me with this. Oh, I can't remember when the dogs come for I can't remember when the dogs come through in this version. I know when they come through in a lot of other versions. Okay. Through here, grab the key in the bathroom. Use it to go to the door, which I just passed. Hey, I'll take this and I'll be going. Have fun, bye. The game's smart to you doing that, by the way. You use the old key. Yeah, yeah. We all know you're here. I'm here for this. Told you they're wise to you leaving him in there. Because he will come back. How many bullets do I have left? Seven. 
I'm heading to a safe room. And I'm gonna get some ammo soon. Yeah, we can manage him. Oh good, his head exploded. No crimson head for us. That's useful. Oh, fuck off! Deadhead. Armor. Okay. And that's what I love about this game, you're basically just doing laps, but every time you do a lap, you unlock a little bit more. <laughs> And it's this beautiful, slow progression that is just, oh, so fit into the um, horror formula. Formula. Okay. Do I have any ammo I've left in here? No, I am ridiculously short. I've been very uh, trigger friendly. Trigger happy, trigger friendly, that's a, not a thing people say. Yeah, I knew that was logged. Right. It's time to get the map. Oh, there. There's a map of the second floor. Take it, yes. Boom. Right, and now we get the armor key. I bet this cock gets up soon. Him, there. You know what, I'm not going to risk it. Because I use this hallway all the friggin' time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. No buttons. Now, although I use this hallway a lot, and I could, like, make him not... I could burn him. I don't want to. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Almost like someone told you to... Oh, I remember what you do. You do the other side of the window, don't you? Yeah, I'm being stupid.
to here. So what I did is I was like, oh, you... Just realised I don't have enough ammunition to kill the dog. Huh. We've got one bullet left. If I was ammo, where would I be? Is this one of them helpful games that tells me where stuff is? No, it's not. Where would I have left ammo? No, I left some somewhere because I didn't have enough space. Where was that? Oh, I shouldn't have wasted all my ammo killing all them fucking zombies. I feel there's a dagger. And another dagger. Aha, ammo. Boom. Now let's go kill a dog. What am I doing? I could have gone through the other door. The one I unlocked to make a fucking shortcut. But no, I'll just be an idiot, I guess. Yeah, this one. Oh, I hate that they've changed all the buttons. Will you take the collar? Yes. Examine. There's a switch where you press it. Yes. Yes, there is. Boom. Change into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Oh, gee, golly gosh, I wonder what... Wonder what that could be for. Well, let's go find out. And meet our first crimson head while we're at it. Oh, that's where the one I remember leaving. In fact, now that I've got it, I specifically remember. No, that's not. That's 
that's how you do that. I specifically remember saying, oh, remember that's there. And then I forgot that it was there. <laughs> Told you, that's a crimson head. We'll deal with him in a second. Basically, the way the T-Virus works on people is it turns them into a zombie in the early stages and then it will turn them into a crimson head and then after, uh, after that they become a licker. Oh no, I guess I need to put the key back. But I'll keep the real one, thank you. Some Indiana Jones shit right there. Yeah, death is everything. Okay, let's go deal with that crimson head. <laughs> Actually, first this. Pretty sure you're the armor key. Yep, armor key. <laughs> Holy shit, you were waiting for me, you cunt! Crimson heads are harder, faster, and just more badass than your average zombie. They also don't like dying very much. Fucking wind. Yeah, I'm gonna go back the other way actually. On the account of crows. Right, where am I going? Because I don't know, I'm just running back to the main hall. Got the armor key. Let's go meet Rebecca. Use the armor key. That I did. No, oh, no, no, Chris. I won't get the musical score. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Oh my god, Chris! Figure out how moving works. Might be in a different version. 
Like I said, gonna do that a lot. I tend to get the versions of this game mixed up because I play I, I play so many different versions. Like in the original, the director's um, cut and the two remixes in that, you've got the um, oh the one where the there's more items and stuff. The easy mode, or as it was released in Japan, which is weird that game's actually easier in Japan. And then you've got the normal mode, which is the normal base game. And then you've got the hard mode, which is, um... Yeah, it's all remixed, you've got different camera angles, everything's in different places. It's a very different sort of game. And then you've got, um, Deadly Silence, the uh, port for the DS, which has Rebirth mode, which moves around a bunch of items, rooms, and adds in an extra mini-game. And then, um, I think that's all the versions of the standard one, and then you've got this version on here. So it's, yeah, this game's been remade quite a few times. While I can reach the door, it's the wind's pulled it shut. I'm gonna just yeah, close that. Good. Housekeeping. No, fuck you guys. Said fuck you guys. Huh, this is not how I remember this. Right, so if I press the wrong one, the title is written as follows Bring the light of truth to the free spirits. Okay, this is definitely harder. I'm used to the aging one from, light, uh, from birth to death. Why is this all of a sudden different? Protected by the three spirits. Green, purple, orange. Uh, a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Okay, so maybe I want to press it on the other side, because I want it orange. Yes, so that is correct. Ah, I see what we're doing here. It's not that much harder, it's just different. Just threw me off for a second. Oh, fuck off. Okay. So green crown, purple necklace. Got ya. Say you want a necklace. Set in red glass, I want it to be purple. Put boom. Oh, 
Right, that is now all good. Boom. One of the first masks that I can't carry because I've got too many items. Can I open up the gate from this side? That's the question. No, because I don't have a key. Damn it. Oh, you left all this shit here for me. Appreciate it, nonetheless. I'm not going to use it at the moment, but appreciate it. Go the rest of the ink ribbons. You can go there. No, I don't need the chemical to use on plants. I'm going to pick all this up and just put it in the box, because that way I can take it from any... That way I can take it from any box, any safe room. That and the pistol ammo will be useful. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I just swapped that with a first aid spray, didn't I? Boom. Let's bounce. Oh. I mean, for a traitor, that's pretty nice. I don't think there's anything useful in here, but I might be wrong, and if it's not useful, I can just drop it off in the safe room, because it's right nearby. Examine. A sage spray. Boom. That'll be useful. Right, I'll drop this shit off, then we'll go into the other room.
No, I don't want to. Barnes, I remember there's nothing useful in there. And I'd rather use the old key to give you a shortcut. Actually, no, I need to. The shortcut I know is just a shortcut. I'm not going to get anything new from it. Um, if I put the time in, I can just go round. But if I use the key and then I need it later to get in this room because it does have something in it, then I'm fucked. So I'm going to use it here. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. We we'll get the lower of a beat, yes. Oh, come on. Come on, Chris. Chris, you got it, so you can get it again. Oh, fuck's sake. Off you be bastard. Yeah, I just shot a bee out of the air with a bullet. What of it? Okay, so that was actually worth it. I made the right choice. That makes me happy. Right. Now into the gas room. These puzzles are different to how I remember them. Huh. So it's like that, is it? Oh, you guys!
Okay, so that does nothing. And that puts you back. Yeah, I think we're good. Yay! Right, Sunshine will awaken me. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Well, let's go get that serum. For the guy that's totally gonna make it. Also, hey Rebecca, I was playing as you in uh, the last game. I wonder if anything's going to bust through that door. You know, maybe something like that. Hey, deadhead. Bye, deadhead. Will you take the serum? Yes, I will. Also, drop off some shit. Oh! Let's go back to Rebecca. Nope, Chris decided not. Nah. Oh, that just suddenly switched ears. Like the sound effect.
Right, so I need an old key to get the um, working shotgun to replace with the working shotgun. Cool. Put that on the to-do list. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? The music in this game is just fucking delightful. And not to be a pain in the ass, but... I haven't actually saved yet. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? I mean, I'm not injured, so... No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. Right. What am I doing? No, dumbass. I want them. I also want. Hello. I... It's an old type, right? You can save your progress. Cause God, it'd be annoying if I died. So what do we need to do now? Um, shit, I meant to get the herb. What the herb? The plant mixture. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? I'm fucking fine. We've been through this. No, I'm okay. I'm just here for... Do, 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 do. Do, you. Oh, and... Put that one. That is the wrong button. That's what I'm looking to do. I don't have any old keys, so I can't quite get the shotgun yet. And go through here. Oh, the bloody sun. I hate the sun at this time of the day. Your frag grenade? Oh, hello. Oh, flash grenade. Oh my god, the sun. Why do we rely on this stupid nuclear ball of... whatever the fuck. Plasma and shit, I guess. Um... 
feel like all I did there was kill the, uh... All I did there was kill the herbs. Well, I'm sure that's the last we'll be seeing of Plant 42. Yeah, I fucked that one up. <laughs> oh well, it's not that important. Will you take the death mask? Yes. I could reload and, you know, go do that properly, but fuck it. There's plenty of health I have found. Holy shit, guys! Aww. I've remembered I like surprises. Well, I'm feeling quite itchy tasty. Dum da dum 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 dum. See, I'm feeling quite itchy tasty. Ah. <sighs> oh no! A zombie! He died. Like again. And that's that sword. Now I can go get the book and shotgun. Gonna just. Oh, I left it all the way over there. I mean, it's not that far, but it's still annoying. Time to get the book and shotgun. Will you take the book and shotgun? Oh look, it's one slot, Resident Evil Zero! No, oh, I've got fucking loads of them things. Now we can go get the real shotgun. And while we're at it, we can, um, pick up that jewel while we're here and use that. Boom. I need some curtains in here, that's what I need. I also need to reach a boat. Oh, if I had like another arm.
Uh, where am I going? I'm going there, so the shotgun room... Yeah, the save room is past that, so I'm going to go back to the safe room. Oh, but then Rebecca's going to... Oh, but if I go that way, then I can't go back because the door handle's fucked. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go see Rebecca again. And she's going to go, Guys, do you want to get healed? And I'm all going to be like, What did I tell you? I'm fucking fine, love. Don't I need any of your soft touch, baby. And then she's going to think I'm weirdo for talking like that because nobody in the history of anybody has ever spoke like that. You could also do a finding some more pistol ammo, why? Now that I um, look at my supplies. That was a wrong button. Do I go this way? What would the faster way? Are there, there. Yeah, this is definitely the faster way because it doesn't go through the door with the almost broken door handle. Um, near where the other save room is, you can walk through from the room that leads outside. The uh, dark hallway is what it's known as. But you can walk from the dark hallway into the hallway where the save room is as many times as you want, but you cannot walk the other way because the door handle is a bit broken and it breaks after, I forget how many uses, but I just pretty much try not to use it. Which is why I'm planning my journey this way round. Are you gonna? No, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. I know it's coming. I do. Now I left some zombies in here, didn't I? Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come to where there's a bit more room. That way I can move around you. Come on. Come on now, cutie. Come on. Come on, deadhead. Come on, come get me. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just... Yeah. Bye, babe. Oh. Died. Natural causes, I think. Natural causes being the bullet. That's what I called it. <laughs> So yes, yeah, this is what you do when Barry isn't here to save you. You have to get the broken shotgun and replace it. Indiana Jones style. Boom. Okay, that's cool. I hate the sun, it's too bright. I say we nuke it. Although that, considering it is just a, you know, nuclear fusion bowl with of liquid stuff. I probably wouldn't do that much to it. Yeah, this... Fuck it. This door here, you can walk through from here to there as many times as you want but you cannot walk from there to here as many times as you want it's limited i wonder if you're gonna come back okay so if that lightning timing isn't foreshadowing i don't know what the fuck is
Don't mind me, Kos. I'm just here to pick up a mask. Okay, Kos, I'll be off now. The door knob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway? No. So yeah, pretty much don't use that way. And I'll just put this in the safe room, just for safekeeping. I need Wesker to leave me more ammo. Well, she's starting to make some decent progress now. Hello? Come on then. Come on, we all know you're there. Are you fucking with me? Someone's fucking with me. Not him anymore. <laughs> Oh shit! Knife to the face. Are you getting back up? No, I don't think he is. Oh wow, it's really dark. If only Chris had a lighter on him. Of course, sorry, bro. Ah! I forgot you were there! I thought... I thought you were only there in the... <laughs> For some reason, I only thought he was there in the afterbirth, um, afterbirth mode. Oh, nice. Now that's useful. Now oh, Rebecca can play the music for me. Now, I can't remember, is this the key I need? It's locked. No, I need a shield key.
What did we? Nope, let's go this way. I know where I'm going. Oh, really starting to need the toilet. This is why you should have gone before I started recording. Pardon me. do not have a lot of ammo left, do I? Right, now we can go play the music on the piano and then utterly fail and have Rebecca come in and utterly fail and then spend some time reading the sheet music and practicing. Me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Yeah. So what do I need to do now? I'm actually kind of at a loss. Uh huh. Uh, I've been all the way through there. Oh, I mean, I can't get through there. Can't get through there either. I can get through there, but I can't get through there. We go upstairs. Plenty I haven't been to, but not a lot I can go to, if you know what I mean. I'm 
はいはい。Place them on the thing. Okay, so where are the death masks? So it's hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, and smell no evil. Smell no evil, nobody's ever heard of before, but you know, it's there. Very obviously, still need this key because I haven't had to discard it yet. But I can't think of what door you use. Fuck off! Jesus, that made me jump. They will follow you through doors, but I'm pretty sure they won't follow you through that door because this is considered a safe room. Or、well, that's in a different version, and I'm completely wrong, and it's going to come through there and scare the shit out of me. I know I haven't got all the masks, but I can't think of what else I need to do, if I'm honest. First of all, what mask? I have, um. Speak no evil. And see no evil. Cool. Well, at least I've put them away. There's nothing over here that I'm forgetting about, is there? No. And I can't get through there without an old key. Where on earth is the、um, the door I need to go to then? So.
it's not you. Yeah, did you're the helmet key. Has Rebecca finished practicing? Is that what we need to do? Chris! Chris! I think I got it! Practice makes perfect. Huh? What's this? Okay, Rebecca, I'll be back in a second. I forgot something because I didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that you'd be uh, finished by now. We're all gonna come back. I know it. Dead, dead boy. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Still doesn't change the fact that I've got this key and it opens a door. Well, I don't know which door. Right, let's go um, swap over these shields. I can't even remember what this gets you. It's a key or a mask. That much I'm sure of. Okay. Oh my god! Stupid alternative controls. Oh no, I'm trapped. Whatever will I do? I'll take this, that's what I'll do. Trevor's diary. Trevor's the dude who built the mansion. His wife and daughter were kidnapped and he was imprisoned in here to die. And his wife died from the experiments and his daughter but uh, had a fate much worse than death. Lisa Trevor is the most tragic character in Resident Evil history and... Yeah. We will meet her a little later on. Oh, I didn't put the... I walked right past it! It's because I'm thinking about how much I need to pee and not the actual game.
When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the plug. Try it, yes. So, do I need to put them both on the sword? Oh, I'm so dumb at this. Yes. When the two have run each other through, When the two have run each other through... Oh, fuck. Um... Okay. Pain of two nights stroke... Two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight. Short breast into the armor. The long sword had pierced the head of the other. Aha! The answer was right in front of me all along. Which get? Now, is that right? Yes! You take the mansion key. Yes! Examine. Gave him a shield, shield key. Now means I can go fight Yorn. Can't remember what doors need the shield keys. I'm just going to run through and make sure I don't miss anything. Is it? Nope. <laughs> the doggos will come eventually. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on with you. Come on. Come on, come on, nearly there. You nearly got me. Dinner's nearly ready, come on. Come on, come on, there you go. Good zombie.
Right. So it's not any of you. You're definitely helmet, right? Well, whatever, I'm going to want the shotgun for yawn. I'm going to just... Armour key. I don't know where the fuck you go. What is this over here that's shining? Oh fuck, there's an old key right there. I'm gonna save just because I'm fighting a boss. And you're always better to be safe than sorry with a boss. Forgot to put the fucking ink ribbons back. I want to check something quickly because I'm pretty sure it's a helmet key that I need but I want to just double check yeah it is a helmet key So now it's pretty much just yawn time. Not like tired time. <laughs> time to fight yawn. Not yet time to kill yawn yet. But that comes later. I want to point something out really clever that this game does. Does it in a few places, but you know, I'm just going to show it off here because it's quite clever. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Fuck you anyway, corpse face. There's no more further use for this key, discard it. So the game now knows you have at least one free inventory slot. Which is important because you'll need it. To pick up the key item that's in here. And that is so just clever key like game design. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna equip this. Hey, yawn. No, I'm not going near your head, yawn. I'm not. I know what you do with that head. 
I've seen you use it. I've seen you eat me with it. No, 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 no. Nope. Oh shit, now I'm poisoned. Oh, fuck off! I'll see you later in the library! There's the game new, I had a free inventory slot for the mask. Poison. Uh, Chris! I need serum. Serum? I remember seeing it. I'll be right back, just hang in there. Yeah, I know where the serum is. We're playing as Rebecca again! Yay! <laughs> Feels weird to be playing as Rebecca in Resident Evil 1. Because I don't normally play the Chris campaign, and it just after... Just like, I played Resident Evil 0 yesterday from my point of view. And, um... Yeah, it feels quite weird playing as her again in the game that's not zero. This is why we don't kill the Crimson Head in here, because it's harmless. You just run around the other way. So that leaves the question of where is the last mask? I honestly don't remember. Come on, let's go for a run. I've just realised where the last mask is. It just hit me like a brick it's on the balcony. Because I'm thinking that's where the grenade launcher is, but I bet it's not. Because that's where it is on the original version. a snake and fell unconscious. Easy. Oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything... That you wouldn't do? I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. Oh, thank God I made it in time. Just stares at her.
Okay. I'll just take both of these. kind of a waste to do it this way, but there's no other way to do it. Boom. I'm a hunky dory again. to have the death mask which is a uh, nice one more mask to go and then we'll fight another boss So the armor key is where I need it, is where I think it is, then I can use this old key quite conveniently to take a shortcut. Yes, I am actually going to go through it this time. One of my very few times going through the door this way. This brings me into the garden, which will bring me into the main hall, which will bring me uh, up to the stairs, which will bring me to the upper main hall. That should bring me to the door to the balcony, which should be the last door that the sword key uses. Because I normally just ignore it, because it's where you find the grenade launcher, which is, you know, you don't really need until the late game, so I don't go there. But... I'm guessing I've forgotten. Boom. Love it when a plan comes together. Very nice. Did need that. Right. There's a tough zombie here that you really don't want to kill if you can help it. Yeah, Fires is holding the grenade launcher in the original. I've been a dick, dude. Okay, so I did need to kill him in the end.
Oh, I don't have the mask, so where's the fucking mask? Huh. Oh, he doesn't combine them. Right, let's examine this death mask. Bat nose. The odd smell no evil then. Yeah, so I definitely need another mask. So where the fuck... I've got no more keys left. Oh, where is this fucking... I'm just gonna check if it's not in here. And then I think I'm actually gonna need to save and um, pause it, stop the recording for a bit. Does I really need to pay? <laughs> really need to pay. Is there anything I've missed? Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Just examine you quickly. No, that doesn't work either. Examine. Sunshine will awaken me. Okay, I really need to pee, so. Oh, I really need to pee, I really need to pee, let's think about peeing, which is all I can think about. Okay, okay, just save and then we can run to the toilet. Save. Cool, so I've peed. You'll dance. We're at the hat high! <laughs> While I was away, I went and looked up the death mask because I was actually quite stumped. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking. It was right in front of me. Because there's a heart in a sun. You press the button there, you press the button there, and boom, it opens. It was that fucking easy. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's the wrong one. So let's go kill this bastard. 
can't remember what save room when. I'm going to have to go the long way around then, because I'm going through that door. Oh, screen's on. Pointer's on screen. Mouse, not pointer. Who calls it a pointer? Your grandma calls it a pointer. Okay, um, this is a sensible game, so yeah. Controls. Original. I'm getting fed up. Didn't save it. Oh, that's okay, Robin. I was just getting fed up of him freaking the fuck out every time the camera changed, so I thought I would uh, change back. So the problem I have with this control scheme is it works fantastically for moving around and with the cameras and everything, but you have to hold down like X on the Xbox 360 controller, which is what I'm using, to, um, to run. And there's no reason not to run everywhere it's faster and there's not like a stamina meter or anything so you want to just run everywhere so you just end up constantly holding down x and it just it's so annoying to just ha constantly have this button held down so i kind of have um both have their annoyances I think you're going to be all then. Boss fight time. boss fight, it's just a crimson head. Okay, hold this. <laughs> that was fun. Will you take the stone? Yep, I'll take that. Now, if I'm right, we can get to the garden with this. If I'm remembering right. Again, it's so many versions of this game that it's just rather confusing at times. The best way to the garden would be to go this way. See already, my thumb's starting to... It's not like painful, it's just uncomfortable and annoying to constantly have to have pressure on the X button. Dogs. Okay, my phone went off. My family is on a flight home and my sister wanted me to check some stuff. That is all. Yep. Ah! Ah! Bad boy! Fuck up! That's backflip though. You dead? Hopefully, just I'm. 
Running low on ammo. Yeah, so I probably just recorded a good 15 minutes of just fucking nothing. So I'm gonna listen to it back and there's like a creepy little girl or some shit on it. I forgot what's through here, because I was thinking there'd be a step ladder, but that's a different version. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going down there. But first of all, there's shit I want to get. Some pistol ammo would be delightful. And these are open as well. I thought, felt I was thinking one of these would be locked. This should lead out to the area that I'm aware of. Yeah. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha team. Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat. This is Br Brad! This is Chris! Brad? Damn! Thing's broken. Miss me! You didn't. Nice back to it. I'm running dangerously low on bullets! Yeah, this is much later in the game. And this should lead us through to the reservoir. 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 And of course I don't have the crank. Crank one of two, not hexagonal crate. Uh, crate. Not the hexagon crate. We want the square, not crate. Fuck me in the arse and call me Harry Potter. Not, I need the square, the square crank, not the hexagon, crank, 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 that is a really weird word, or maybe I've just said it too many times and it's got weird, okay, so I need to go down here and get the thing, I don't remember this that much, I tend to play the original more, for two reasons, number one, it's more fun, just in how stupid and silly it is. There's a switch. Huh. Okay. Well, that's... Wesker? Okay. Well, I don't know what I've done, but... So they want to be facing each other, don't they? So this one wants to be facing south. Damn it. Oh, 
I'll just stay how it is then. Boom. And now I'm... Yeah, that's right. So now the other ones will be facing in the opposite direction to the direction in which it's facing. And the direction it's facing is west, so it must be facing east. Boom. Huh. So I was wrong. La last cross of destruction. War cry of revenge. Well, let's just do it the other way around then. Them rising away from each other instead of towards each other. Well, that spooky noise made it sound like I was right. Also, how did that gate work? Yeah. I remember there's a graveyard through here, and I remember you're meant to do something with it. I don't remember what. I need the um, crest for here. Also, you don't run in here, or the crows will go after you. Like this! <laughs> oh, well, who could that be? I know who that is. A large statue stands silently in the darkness. This is all new. None of this is in the original PS1 version of the game. And it's honestly amazing. I freaking love it. Like I say, Lisa Trevor may be one of my favourite parts of Resident Evil, like, chronology or lore or whatever. Just, she's such a fucking tragic character. Nobody else gets a raw deal like Lisa does. You know, her dad builds this mansion for this rich guy. Wants it to be a proper, weird, trappy place. So he builds it, designed so nobody can escape from it, and then ends up imprisoned in it. That's what happens to her father. He ends up eventually dying after learning that his wife and daughter have died from um, uh, were killed, which isn't true. His daughter survived. His wife was killed. And then um, she's tortured and all sorts of shit injected with all these experimental drugs, namely the T-Virus. Well, she's... To be more precise, she's injected with the Progenitor Virus and she bonds with it in a way like no other human has. 
and she becomes, you know, immortal, essentially. In the worst way. Wrong button. Oh, look, a crank. I wonder if anyone is going to knock me down that hole. Yeah. She collects faces and wears them. She's looking for her mother's face. Well, the um, researchers actually had a... Um... Oh, someone come in and um, with a mask of her mother on to try and pretend to be her mother to see how she would react to it. And she took the mask off, killed the guy who was wearing it, and she spent the rest of her time since then looking for her mother so she can give her her face back. That is Lisa's mission now, to find her mother, even though her mum's long dead. I'm still fucking going all over the place with these old school controls. Fuck you, George! Right. Very slowly past the crows. Oh, I really need a cough. <coughs> there we go. Done. Oh, so we're getting to the outhouse where we have to fight the spiders soon. That's fun. How do you feel about snakes? Because, um, gonna be snakes. Not like yawn. Oh. You see what I mean when I say different versions and all that? Now I have two bullets and there's a bunch of dogs.
Right. Yeah. I know where I'm going. And it is this way. More dogs in here. Oh, this is where they put the snakes in this version. I was wondering where they were. Oh, and they've taken the dogs out. Oh, that's an odd change. I have played this version before, believe it or not. Quite a few times. I'm just more familiar with the original, so I tend to get them confused quite a lot. First things first in this area. Fuck plant 42 and its hole. We don't like plant 42 and its hole. Sorry, plant 42. Ah! There's an extra hole. I hate it. <laughs> fuck you, Plant 42. Fuck you in the ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nobody even likes you. Funny I could fight the things off with bloody flash grenades. No handgun bullets, though. Well, I suppose I might as well bring the fucking shotty with me. At least I got ammo for that. where I left it. I didn't want it to be where I left it. <laughs> Fuck you, Plant 42! <laughs> Fuck you, Plant 42! Fuck you in the arse, your mama's a whore! <laughs> You'd think I was doing it on purpose, but I'm not. God, I hate that plant. Oh well, spider's time. Hello, nightmare creature. I hope you know I've always hated you. Oh well. Fuck you. Oh, 
Okay. It's dead. God damn, I hate spiders. How would you read that? Okay. Give this a use. Okay. Well, I'm going to save because I've made some progress. I made it to the next area. Oh, I'm actually holding. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Yep. I've already done it a few times. Cool. And we just run into that wall for a wee bit. Chris, be a babe. Oh, into room two. Plant first two, we all know about that bastard. Oh no, remember the buttons are different. Well, he's not coming back as a crimson head.
mainly because he doesn't have a head. Yeah, I'll take the key. Is that everything in here? I think that's everything in here. And there's no point in doing it yet, but I'm going to move. A ladder. Yeah, I'll climb down. For no reason other than I want to do the push puzzle to get it out of the way. No, Chrissy. No. Decided that it's had enough of being a nose, and instead it's going to be a leaky faucet. Literally all I want you to do here. Now we go back to um oh room one. I've just realised I'm still holding the ink with it, aren't I? I'm sure he's fine. <coughs> oh god, I've just... My body, it's not working anymore. But on the bright side... Handgun magazine. Fucking loads of handgun bullets, so that's good. I actually fucking needed that. Just gonna pop back to the safe room for a bit, pit mate. Need to drop off some items.
Oh, I meant to equip it. There we go. Uh, I had to do it. We ran from those things, but then I realised that I was never going to escape. So I killed myself, basically. <coughs> oh my god, why am I suddenly ill? Right, that's um oh Chrissy. That just go me a giant shark. Oh, isn't it more convenient now that all the boxes have already been moved? But from the other side, right? Yeah. I just want you to make sure. Richard! Richard. Yeah, no, there's a giant shark here. And baby shark. Run, 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 run. Don't like the sharks. I don't like the sharks. Oh, would you fuck off, you little cunts? Chris, keep running, baby. Yet, yeah. then get the fuck in there, babe. Jesus Christ. You say you don't like jaws one time. Just the mouse is on screen. The warning lab indicates there is an emergency. Really? Oh, I hadn't picked up on the emergency. What is it? Um... Yes. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. 
locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Um, I'm pretty sure there is, babe. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Open valve three. Got it, valve three. I'm pretty sure there is, you know. I'm just gonna. I know I'm changing these seeming at random, but it's because I'm... I'm not sure which one I like more, if I'm honest. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Okay. I'm pretty sure there is! Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. Okay. And do the safety again, didn't it? Reaching 90% of pressure threshold. Oh man, that was too close. Oh, fucking hell. Nearly died there. Oh, shotgun. What's this way then? Oh, I can actually... Oh. I didn't know that. I really don't play as Chris that often. And when I say I didn't know that, I mean... I probably did know that. It's just... It's been a while since I played this game. Boom, so that's the back way. I realise if you use the alternate controls, you can use the tank controls just by using the D-pad. So that's really useful. It means I can swap at will just by moving my thumb from the D-pad to the analog stick, and that is... That is both. So if I need to run around, I can just use the analog stick, and all the other time, I can just, you know, move around using the D-pad, like you would on the PS1. That is really fucking useful. Yeah, no, that is the best. Use alternate, 
and then you use tank most of the time, and then when you're in a rush, don't, basically. Just use the D-pad. Bad shark! Bad shark! Oh, well, I have to come back down here when I've got some fucking bullets, don't I? Gee golly gosh, I wonder if the giant shark is no dead. I wonder what we'll do now. Here, hold this thing that sparks electricity and um, have fun. Take that, George. The last time I beat this version of the game, I think it was on PS4. Yeah, I need to go back to the save room. Bye, Jaws! Drop off a shitload of items. I'm pretty sure that's the gallery thing there. This actually works out really well, because then if I come back this way, which I will, obviously, then um, it means that I can pick up all of the items in a nice path. I think the last time I played this game as Chris was on the GameCube? Which means I don't think I've ever played as Chris in the HD version of this game. I mean, I might have. I'm not saying I definitely haven't, but... I don't remember playing as him in the HD version. And I know this is the first time I've played it on PC. Mainly because I'm getting achievements. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Self-defense gone. Don't need you at the moment. Shotgun shells. Don't need you at the moment. First aid box. Don't need you at the moment. I'm gonna need you in a second. I've got three left. Is that enough?
there's a ladder here. Yes, climb down, Chrissy. Number one that I want. And we're going up to the fancy new shotgun. Yummy, yummy. It was around here somewhere, wasn't it? There it is. Yeah. Will you take the assault shotgun? Oh, fuck yes, baby. Will you take the residence key? Boom. Let's get out of here. I would to think this was just a little room in the original, and it's this massive tank. This remake is honestly one of the best remakes ever made. And it's really weird to think that one of the few remakes that comes close to being as good as this is Resident Evil 2. Like, goddamn Tapcom. You make us wait for them, but Jesus, when you give us the remakes, Oh, they are tasty. I really hope they remake Resident Evil 3. Just because that's my favourite one, and it's I'd love to see it remade with the same love that Resident Evil 1, um, 1 and 2 got. I'd like an optional fixed camera perspective. Or an optional first person perspective just so you can play it in VR. Get what that means. Fuck, fuck you, <coughs> fuck you, fuck you! Okay. I need a pad and a pen to write down that code. Okay, got a pad and I have a pen. Oh, why well, am I the sort of artist that doesn't use pens and pencils? Yeah. 
So they're numbers, aren't they? It's a number code. Seriously, where's a pen? Found one. Um. Red equals that eye. The eye with the line in the middle. Boom. While we're here, we might as well take this. Just use it. I'm guessing there's going to be another handle down here. Yep. Green equals eye looks like. Really nice eye. That's eyelashes. You know, all two of them. Boom. Yes, it could. Then you, orange. Oh, fuck. Equals eye that's got three eyelashes down and no pupil. Fantastic. Okay. Green is six. Red is three. And orange is five. Boom. One way. Let's go do this shit. Okay. So you are five. You are six. And you are three. Da 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 da. Yeah. What? I left it up there. Yeah, so I mean, bakey. Like pastry. Pastry. Yeah, like pastry, a cake. Oh, pan on chocolate. Pan on chocolate. Okay. Or whatever the fuck they're actually called. I don't speak French. Yeah, Cod looks got cross on. Cool. Thank you. Okay, so I've got a cross lock. What could I quit? Fuck me in the ass. I've got a a Fuck me!
Is there really nothing in this room but Chris? Okay. Aha, I was wondering where we got that from. Okay, time to get rid of these pesky bees. Pesky bee? <sighs> Fuck off, pesky bee. Let's see what they were guarding. Oh look, it's a residence key. Yes please, discard it. Had to save. Yeah, I know. How to make fucking? I know. Okay, so it's gonna be a woman. So we remove her. So it's going to be down the bottom. Yes, I wish you didn't ask that every time. So now we need our ankle. I think it's that. Boom. Now we're going to need her legs. Not going through there yet. Because going through there is a boss fight. Uh, I hate moths. It's the best thing the remake of Resident Evil 2 did. It removed the giant boss, the giant moth boss. Right, let's go, um, let's save first. Just because it's always wise to save before a boss fight. Fuck you. Let me go up here. Fuck 
Fuck you. Fuck you, Plumpy. Yeah, how do you like that, plant boy? Miss me, plant boy. Ow! Didn't miss me that time, did you? Do we not need to make a uh, bee Joel? Oh. I thought we still had to make it. I thought Chris got captured and Rebecca had to make it because she was good at mixing herbs and shit. Oh, that was a lot easier than I was expecting, if I'm honest. I'm actually kind of disappointed in a weird way. <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have... watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. I'm guessing she's in here then. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Thanks. Be strong, Rebecca. I oh, feel bad for her. Like, she's done a lot more than Chris has in this night. Just she's also done all the shit from Resident Evil Zero. So, like, no wonder she's fucking breaking down and shit. She's at the end of a rope. She probably hasn't even slept. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. You heard him. Back to the mansion. Now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the helmet key. And... Plum 42 is dead, so we can walk all over the hole. Fuck you, Plum 42.
Don't we get another? This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. Yeah, I was about to say, don't we get another radio call here? And then we got another radio call, so yeah, yeah, I was right. Damn boy. Let's get the fucking thing off you! Yeah, still need a battery for that. Oh, now the snakes are here! Earlier they were in the other place. Oh! Did that snake really just get me? And I'm poisoned. God, I hate snakes. Hopefully there's a blue herb through here. I'm gonna sneeze in a second. <laughs> Told you. Oh, there is. Thank God. Oh, very nice. And shotgun shells. Well, for absolutely no reason whatsoever, I'm going to hold this. It's not because there's something scary coming up in a second or anything. Fuck you anyway! Alright, let's go sort some stuff out and then um, deal with Yawn. I think. Ah, oh, versions! Are you dead? Oh, fuck you! Are you dead, ugly?
We'll just give it a save. Just because I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how... To, uh, I'm pretty sure we have to fight a snake now. Giant scary snook. We get to so we get to open all the doors we couldn't before, which is a really satisfying part of this game, being able to finally fully open the mansion. I love it. I'm pretty sure this is where we fight Yawn. It is in at least one version of the game. Okay, so I've made a mistake here. It's alright, the magic fairy will clean up after me. This room is not what I remember it being. This is the room where you fight your uh, and then your makes a hole and you jump down the hole and then it leads you through the basement into the kitchen. See? Magical fairies. That bit gets me every time. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get that extra large meal. Run, Chrissy, run! Nice. Oh, that room makes me so glad. Oh, good. There's a hole at your feet. Will you take the last? Um, examine. As a rule, you always open books. Ah. Yep, this is where they buried Trevor. Or George, rather, but the father. George Trevor, there's a switch. Yeah, this is with the last rest in place. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure it's implied that he's the uh, Crimson Hedge you fight in the coffin. You know where you get all the masks. <laughs> Fuck you anyway, Spider, I hate you. Oh, I double hate you now. Poison me. Uh, 
Spiders freak me out. One minute, zombie, I'll be with you. Oh shit, fuck, there's more than one of you. Can you just, uh. Right. Oh, I played myself there. God damn, I hate spiders. Cool, now the elevator works. Aha, uh -huh, no, I remember. This takes you up to the library in this version. They've rejiggered it. Apparently there's nothing this way, but I want to see because I didn't go that way. And I need to go every way in this mansion every time I play this game, despite the fact that... Because I say I know it well, and I, I, I do. I've played this game so many goddamn times, but there's so many different versions. That... I never really know... The I never really know what thing is in what version because you fight Yawn in the room where you find the hole in the original, but in this one you don't. You have to do that um, closing room puzzle, puzzle, and then you get the thing that leads up to the uh, library where you fight Yawn. Oh yes, that'd be useful. And then this brings us through to the kitchen. Just realised I've gone the wrong way. Hey, do you wanna... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gonna kill me a giant snake. Gonna kill me a giant snake. Gonna shoot the snake. Shoot the snake, I love the snake. My favourite boss in like most of Resident Evil, if not all of it. Jordan genuinely might be my favourite boss in the whole series. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Did I stutter? Look, a battery. That would be useful for the garden. <laughs> now this should bring us up near the safe room. Safe room, even.
No, this is not what I was expecting to be. <laughs> Oh, I see. If we jiggered it again. Holy shit! Hold this. Say bye bye to your head. Bye bye, head. Is this? What's in here then? Okay. Well, I need to pick stuff up in this room, and I don't have any inventory space, so... Did I not have any more rounds for my gun? Apparently not. Right, now let's go do this room. I'm pretty sure this gives us a red jewel, which we have to use on something. Yep, Wesker's orders. God, I have a lot of defense items for, on me. Yellow gemstone. Oh, fuck, I meant to press the switch. Oh, my God. Now we have to watch the animation of going through a door twice in a row. Fun! Okay, minor nitpick, they should have not put that there. I get you now. 
I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm catching you, cold. I think that's all we need from this room. Because one is for the tiger and one is for the something that we get that gives us the key to get into the study. So now this is when we go kill a snake. I really want to kill that goddamn snake. I love that snake. It is such a cool boss. then oh I get it I just remembered what the key is for the last helmet thing I just remembered I went the wrong way. Now this should bring us upstairs if I remember right. Yep, I'd run Chris because there is a giant yawn after you. See? Yawn. Sorry about this yawn, I think you're really cool! Miss me!
God damn, I love that boss fight. Buy giant snake for my nightmares. And my paintings, I painted you once. Huh, that is not what I thought you got from here. Oh, fuck it. Okay, well, let's head back to a safe room and then we can head back around and put the gem inside the lion thing. Where do you come out? You come out there, but send the very first or the first zombie first. Where do you go? You lead exactly where I want to go, so I want to go through you. Boom. Ah, oh, Yawn is dead. Poor Yawn. It was just a misunderstood snook. I'm pretty sure we need to get like another jewelry box or something. I'm gonna Google this. There's an evil jewelry box. Jewelry box. Boom. Um second box we found in the costume room. Aha! I remember now. Well, I'll say I remember. That's not remembering, Robin. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, the best way to get through will be go this way. There's going to be some hunters, though. Down here, to be precise, when we turn the corner. See? Oh gee, another one. Ow. Oh, now there's not any hunters. Cause they're dead. <laughs> I assure you it is. Does this get as an MO disc in this version? Yes, it does. It gets you a Magnum in the normal version, I think. 
guess I'll take the MO disc. Pretty sure there's another hunter through here. No, there wasn't. One thing I want to check while we're in the main hall. And that's what we need to get through here, because I'm pretty sure it's two umbrella crests. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't go there yet. I was wondering if it was a crest we got or them. No. There's no further use for this key, discard it, yes. Oh my god! Why am I having so much trouble navigating this? And now we're in the costume room, which is where you can change your costume in, uh, once you finish the game once. Which I have, just not on the PC, so I can't. And that's how you get rid of a zombie. You are what I want. Ah, oh, this will be fun. You'll try and do the edges first, haven't you? And um, them's the rules. So then you... Huh. So I've done something wrong. Yes, definitely. And it's this. I've done this wrong. That looks better. Oh, you were there. Yeah. No, that's still not working. Huh. Aha, that works though. Oh, and look. Isn't that convenient? Change into a key. Emblem key. Boom. Now we get to do one of the important steps in which you need to do to get the correct ending for this game. Well, the canon ending. I mean, there's not really a correct ending for any game. That's not how endings work. We need to go and save... Uh, what's her face? Rebecca. Where are we going? We're going to that room, so if we go... This way, that brings us into the blue room, it brings us into the dog room, it brings us into the room 
that leads into the bathroom which brings us into that room which leads us correctly, yes. This way. What are you going to do? Yo, yeah? What of it? Yeah, what are you going to do? Come on then, what are you going to do? <laughs> come on, come on, it has to be now. For realsies! I was sure there was going to be doggos this time. I think there's hunters in this room now. Yep. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna ignore you. Fuck you anyway. Now we go in here and we immediately don't pick anything up. And when I wait, we should get a call from Rebecca. Rebecca, is she upstairs? Like I said, we immediately don't pick anything up. And we really don't have long to do this, so got a run, y'all. So this is only in this version, and I remember this. So I have beaten it with Chris at least once. I just don't think I've beaten it on the HD edition. With Chris. Oh, it did not like that. Rebecca. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. Now we go back to that room, but I'm going to save first because we've made quite a bit of progress. I also want to sort my um, inventory out. Well, let's go uh, investigate that room. Okay. Um, for some reason, the music is much louder in one ear than it is the other. Making me feel like I've gone deaf in one ear. Uh, I want to put the ink ribbon back. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to... I 
Oh shit, yeah, of course. Okay, I may have paused the game and edited it out and got and had a smoke and now I'm a bit, bit stoned. <laughs> Doorknob has been repaired. So that's useful. Now we can go through this fucking thing as much as we fucking fucking want to fucking. And then we can get the battery in the crank and we can go into the underground. We are making the progress, no? Oh. Hello. Will you take the flash grenade? I will indeed. Okay, I think that's everything. Cool, let's um, go get the battery. But we've got both things, so we could go down to the basement. Huh. <laughs> I've got a choice. I don't remember this choice. I think... You don't have this choice in the PS1 version. Why are my frames dropping? What's going on that's causing that to drop? That shouldn't be happening. Okay, I mean... And the crank. I'm going to try and save the shotgun now. So I'm going to just bring my pistol. Where is my pistol? Where's my ammo now? There. <laughs> You see, my phone rate dropped to about fucking 10 there. And it should be locked to 30 for the recording. I would record at 60, but... I swear there's meant to be a book in here. How about if I turn the light off? Nope. Mouse is on the fucking screen as well. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, I'm getting my fucking control panel up here. Okay, so I had a program that wasn't shut down in the background. It stopped my recording when I went to open the control panel. And so I had to restart, which is what that jump would have been. Just to explain everything, because I would have edited it out. So I was sink syncing it all up again. So that's annoying. I have to just more as all more during editing, but whatever. I don't really care that much. I care immensely. We take the first stage, but yes, I will. I'm still recording. Yeah, I am still recording audio. That's cool. For some reason, them trees just scared me. So, you know, I'm not saying I'm stoned or anything, but I was just scared by trees. <laughs> Up you do, Christopher. Ah, 
snakes. Fuck you, snakes. This is where you get a raw deal in the Bible. Because you're shit. Well, I never need to deal with you again anymore. So. <laughs> raspberries are juice, so raspberries. I'm not poisoned, I'm fine. Well, I mean, I will be fine after consuming this yummy, yummy herb. Yes, I'll have the green herb. Especially if it's the green herb that I'm, I like. Green herb is good. How to the effect has been restored. The trees just scared me again. For some reason, they look like a claw to me. It's not necessary to use this. Now let's see, because this should lead into the underground area. But if it leads to the underground area, why do I need to go under the stairs, which I need to do? So that's what the two um, oh, umbrella medallions are. Yeah, here. Over here. Yep, hats have gone all. So I'm going to want to put away my shitty square crank. Oh, square crank cranks. They are so not fashionable anymore. So the least I have is four. This is so badly organized. <laughs> Just gonna save. I don't know why, but for some reason after smoking the uh, the devil's cabbage, I am a bit more paranoid about dying. Who'd have funked it? It's almost like my motor functions and um, paranoia have been both increased and decreased respectively. Well, at least I seem to have sought the frame ring out. It's not... I say that now, it's going to fucking crash, innit? There's a large boulder! There are bloodstains underneath it. Oh, what could have happened? Okay, I feel like... If all that boulder should kill... I feel bad that the boulder hasn't tried to kill me. I feel like they should have come after me. Does it come after you at this point in the original then? It must do. The elevator is power source. There's a round lid. Open it. 
Will you take the shaft? Ooh, matron. It's just some sort of key, so. Well, I wonder what I do with that. Now, is this the door I came from? No. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Um, well. Uh... Enrico! Double crosser. Gosh darn it. Right, where am I? Ooh, that's nice. Oh, God damn it! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the item box. Ah! Mummy! <laughs> Be a good boy and die! There's a good chappy! Right, well, I'll just go back to the iron box and then come back and get the tank. Take care of any hunters between here and there. Because there's bound to be a few. There is an item there! What are you? Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, and here. Oh. Oh, I have made a nice little profit. <laughs> Told you there'd be more. <laughs> Fuck you. If I'm being dead. Right. I'm gonna put them with the other ones. And this can just come up here. Why do I even have that? That'll do. Pick up the crank, go back there.
Oh, I'm coming in, Rico. I remember when I saw saw you, and you were like, "Hey, so we will go into this mansion, Rebecca." Have you? Oh, you you found Billy. He's a criminal. He's probably dead anyway. You remember that? Outside the elevator in the lab that Leon finds, but doesn't find anymore because of retcon in and the remake. I'm really fucking spaced. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm fucking loving this. Love this game so much. Oh, so much love. It's gonna make my heart burst. I've got a love erection. Don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I'm talking shit. And my tongue feels like it's made of cotton wool. Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck me! Sometimes that can be annoying. I love this game, but it can. It's just a little nitpick. Fuck's sake, fuck me. Use it, Christopher. So there isn't a secret door there, I'm wrong. Oh. You think you know something, and then it turns out to be in a different version of the mansion. Honestly. Take it, I'm gonna need a flamethrower. Are we going up against the spider boss then? Punch it! Punch it, Chris! I think you should have punched it personally. Am I somewhere I've been before? No, I'm somewhere new. That's good. Well, first of all, before we leave this room, let's go see what's up here. Because that's where I'd put something. Is this when we fight the spider boss? Yes! Okay, I don't like the spider boss anymore. Okay, I love the spider boss. Oh, fuck it. God, I hate spiders! Yay, you're dead. I set you on fire. Okay. We take the survival knife. Yes, I will. Say that, you bitch. Ah. I like this flamethrower. It's good for disposing of uh, failed experiments. I need to go get that. Um, yep. I need to go get that blue herb. Does I'm poisoned. Oh, and there's a nice green herb right here.
But you with the other shotgun ammo. Boom. Very dead. Uh, Flamethrower only had 5%, so there's no point in taking it with me. Unless there is. You know what, I've got a feeling I'm going to need it. I've got a feeling it's got to weigh something down. Question, can I burn this? I can, but I'm out of uh, stuff. Because I know in the original you've got to use this. <laughs> that effect has not weighed, aged well. <laughs> no, I'll take okay, it. That's cool, that's useful, that's useful. Yes! Memory! Memory! Will you set down the flame fire? Yes! Okay, I've not missed any doors. Yep, that just quick wall. Oh look. Is this the one with the secret room? God, I hate boulders. And if I remember right, there's a puzzle in here. A slidey puzzle. Yes! I like this puzzle. This puzzle's cool. Did not mean to step on that. <laughs> Just like defeated Chris, just going, Adorable when I imagine what you're like. Up there. That should do it. Aha. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Ringo Star again. Don't think I've done this impression in this video yet. We're considering we're quite late into this video, saying something. No, this doesn't lead anywhere either. 
does have a first aid kit, so that's nice. Um... First aid spray. Okay. I'm just... just gonna use it, just to save myself time. some herbs there but I don't really need them. Let's go. What's that? Is that curiosity? Is that boulder's moved? has and I've already got the stuff. Cool. Oh no, of course I have. I just ran away from it like 10 seconds ago. Like Chris, just figure this walking thing out. Nope. Yeah, I want the shaft. It's that, and then I want to just put that away because I'm never going to use it. Nice. So what gets me is I could still go down under the in the main hallway and could go downstairs to where Lisa Trevor is. Hmm. I guess that boulder just doesn't move. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure this also leads there. I'm pretty sure we have a boss fight with her coming up soon. Oh. Um. Okay, I don't know the answer to this puzzle. I'm just gonna. Has it an evil remake? Um. Uh, under... Underground... Puzzle... Cylinder shaft. I'm gonna have a look on here and see if there's any obvious answers that I'm missing. Because it's... My internet's a bit slow. Huh. There we go.
Why didn't that keep? So, uh, where's my pen that I had earlier? Four, two, three, and then I'm guessing one, just, you know, yep. Four, two, three, one. Look, I didn't even need to use the internet. Here's me thinking, oh, I'm too stupid, I'll never be able to figure that out. Boom. I need to give myself more credit, man. Which button will you press? Four. Which button will you press? Two. Which button will you press? Three. And then one. Boom. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I feel good for doing that. Down we go. I don't know why I did that, but I feel good. Okay. But I take it I need to put something in that. Let's go find whatever it is it is and how to get it there. Nope, there's nothing else around here. Besides this wonderful looking door. Let's go through it. I wonder what that was, slash who that was. Oh, hello, Lisa. What does this do? Oh, cool. I mean, I don't have anything to put there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Door's locked. Okay, so I need to find something to put on that. There's a door. And it's time. Nice to know. <laughs> ah! I literally, like, that made me jump so much I punched myself in the face, which I know sounds funny, but my chin hurts, is all I'm saying. Oh, not expecting that bitch to be there. Oh, I can't believe I just punched myself in the face. I'm guessing this gondola goes to the uh, garbage compactor. I think I remember this. So now let's go back past Lisa and hopefully not punch myself in the chin again.
I can't believe I jumped so much I actually punched myself. What was... What was... Because, like, jumping is your body's, you know, fight or flight. It's like, oh, shit, we need to do something now. No, it just does something. So what was my reaction? Like, if I punch myself, maybe the monster will feel sorry for me. Was that what it was? I don't really have time to navigate without the map because of Lisa. Who I feel sorry for. She's a very tragic character. But she is still trying to kill me, so I'm going to avoid her. She wants to add my face to her lovely quilt, which would be even more lovely. If I wasn't... Fuck. Well, I guess I'm trapped down here now. Bye bye box. And I'm guessing that's what needs to go on the hookies. Nice. Well you take the broken flame for I will indeed. Wonder why it's broke. Wonder if somebody put a garbage contractor on it. Compactor, not contractor. A con contractor is a different thing. Somebody would get him to a space to run. Somebody that would manage a skip, I suppose, would be a garbage contractor. <laughs> Genuinely scared to see Lisa because I'm just thinking I might punch myself again. Oh lord, I can't believe I did that. That is the stupidest thing I've done in quite a while. Hello, babe. Babe, would you just be a sweetheart and not uh, knock that switch down for me, babe? Thanks. I'm going to be a cheeky little devil. And just do this. Right. So the fastest way would be right past her, but that's obviously not going to happen. So we'll go this way, back the way we came. Leader on a merry chase, eh? Yeah. Chris, we've already done this puzzle once. Oh, we're in Lisa's place. I was died out, but it shows signs of use. Yeah, this is where Lisa lives now. Oh, you gotta feel bad for her. Not so bad that I'm gonna go back to her. Snakes, 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 snakes. Don't like the snakes. Uh. Yep, there's a knife on the bed. I want it. Now, oh, there's the last jewelry box. Oh, I just realised that I couldn't actually get there. The metal object isn't finished. This is going back the way, okay. <laughs> yes, it is, there snakes. Oh, I missed the massive obvious ladder. Now, 
you'll see why she bothered us earlier. Because it comes out in the hut. She lives under the hut. Uh, metal object. Exactly what I want. Boom. And that's why I had to go down there, as I couldn't go down the main door that I thought I could go down. I didn't have the complete amulet. Or whatever you call that thing. Boom. Let's go to the lab then, I guess. Why do I think I've just run around in a circle? Where am I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sometimes the fixed cameras do uh, do confuse me. I mean, guess this wood is it's so dark and it's so similar. It's kind of uh, throws you off. I'm just going to say fuck the crows and run straight through. Oh, good, the crows aren't even here. Just a zomboy. Boom. Yee. We're getting near the end bit. I like the end bit. I like all of it. Bet the dogs come through now. Also, there should be a couple of hunters here. Unless I've dealt with them already. Right. It's now or never, doggos. It's now or never. Yay! Yay! They did it! They did it! Yay! Oh my god, the tension on that was killing me. <laughs> oh man all game all game I've been waiting for that every time I went through that fucking hallway I was waiting for it oh my god they did it <laughs> it, it is oh yeah yeah I know I just pressed X too many times I didn't want to read it all again No. I probably should save the next time I have a chance to actually. Just for safety. Where's the one with less than five? Ink ribbon five. Ink ribbon twelve. 
In Cribbon 5, in Cribbon 3, boom. Because eventually I'll be able to use it and not have to worry about putting it back. <laughs> Save successful, nice. Down this dog for boarding place. You're a bit of a mess up, Chris. Take a piece of the action. Okay. If by piece of the action you mean open up her mum's coffin to reveal her mum's face, which means... Don't want to... Ow. Just gonna... Put this off. Love! Okay, I can't remember for 100% so I am going to Google this. Resident Evil... But I'm fairly sure that fucked up my ending, him dying there. Remake. Endings. Uh, Chris, best. Make sure that you save Rebecca from the hunt. I've done. Also, Predator. So, apparently, that's okay. to a poor girl's misery. So apparently letting Wesker die is okay. I need to Google this again, because I'm really unsure. Uh, Resident Evil uh, remake Wesker death. I'll be really annoyed if this doesn't work now. Because apparently that's okay. But it feels like it's not. Feels like I should have kept him alive. I didn't bring the bloody medallions, did I? You know what? How do I load? I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it so he doesn't die. Yep, load. Because it feels like he shouldn't. And I'm going to fucking bring the medallions with me as well, also that. I only, oh, I say I only have the one medallion. Fucking panicked then.
Oh, I do love the art direction in this game. It's so good. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. I'm going to push this one because this is the hardest one to push. Yep. Yep, keep it on me. And then she goes down there. This should give me enough time to do both. I'd be so lucky. Or so I can get her to come to me. Boom! Kept him alive. Investigate this area a little further. Yep, yeah, that feels much better. I'm much more confident about going on now. And I have the medallions. Wolf. Boom. And on we go to the labs. Now we've got to find the other two MO desks as well as all the machines they go in. Oh no, I've got more than enough of them, babe. I am gonna save though. Cause I want to! I'm not trying to get any sort of speed run, just want to play through the game so I can save as much as I want. Excuse me. Wouldn't mind holding that, would you, love? Okay, bang. <laughs> hey, you're a crimbo head. Aha! Uh -huh. Another remo disc. Very nice. It's locked electronically. Well, he really lost his head. Now I know there's one one in the room on the off the hallway to our right here. I'm not sure if it's open or not. But if it is, I can use the MO disc straight away. I mean, I know there's another one in the Chimera room. It's locked. Yeah. 
And I'm pretty sure there's another one in the freezer as well. Well, let's go into the computer room. Yep, comes in heads. Basically says that they evolve into liquors and all that shit. Uh, it's John, isn't it? And then the password is Ada. But I might be Wong. No, it's not Ada. I know it's not eight, so this is going to be wrong. That's useful. I don't have any room for that. God damn it. I want to use this MO disk. It's locked. It's locked. Not locked anymore, and I can use the MO desk in here. Boom! MO desk looks like a GameCube. Love it. Seems to be something behind this dirty door. Open it. Warning: Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. It looks like a refueling device. Cool. That'll be useful in a little bit. Remember, don't leave without the fucking ammo. So there's lots of magnum ammo around here.
Ah, fuck it, I'm cheating. There's an evil... Computer... Password... Boom, sell. I like cheating, I like cheating, and it makes the game faster! Which isn't always a good thing, but it'd be really tedious if I just get confused in these videos. These videos serve a larger purpose. Oh. I'm working on something much bigger than just each one of these, even though each one of these is quite long itself. Oh, I need to type all this in again. Bullshit. There you go. Now I can go use this slide. Yeah, I need that. Cerberus, Neptune, Hunter. They're fucking sexy as shit, man. Tyrant? Bioorganic Research Group. Hey, that guy looks like Wesker! Okay, I'm. Got a feeling that number is going to be important. Eight, four, six, two. Boom. Yeah, I have an empty slot now. I can take the MO disc. That is, after all, my uh, MO. <laughs> oh, shotgun ammo. I'm going to come back for the MO disc. I already regret doing that. Oh look, password entry thing. Wonder what number it could be. Boom. I'm just curious why. Aha, I see. Let's go back to the item box. Drop off as much shit as I can. They have a shotgun rounds. Don't need you. And I'm pretty sure I can reload you.
I'm going to use the bullets and the pistol and then I'm going to dump it. Because I'm going to need to go back and get the other MO disc anyway. editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view kind of film. View the film. He met a horrible, horrible end. Bless him. I know there's an MO I'm pretty sure there's an MO machine in here. God, I hate the Chimera. How come being dead and all that shit, you know? Wanker. Again. Oh, die. Well, this looks like a lovely sanitary room. Pretty sure this is the room of the boom. you say when you cough. I'm pretty sure there's a save room in here. I'm actually going to save that. Ooh. I'm saving a lot, but because I them come here appeared me a lot of times in my life, and I don't, I'm not trying to show off or anything. So fuck it, I'm saving, you know. Also, going to need that MO disc. Where is it? There it is. And. Uh,
I mean, I've got enough fucking first aid, I might as well. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just, um... Yeah, we've been in there, that's just the other one of, you know. So all we need to do now is turn the thing on. Which means we need to get the fuel. First of all, we need to get the MO disc, which is what I care about. Boom. Can hate them things. I'm pretty sure I need to go back this way anyway because I need to get the fuel thing out. Now this is when I remember it's in a different area in this version. Where am I? Now this is the room with the ammo disc in it. Okay, let's just go forward and see what we find. I know we need to get the fuel can, we need the fuel can to the room where we put the first ammo disc in. I know all this. System one initialize it appears some kind of fuel to get started. Okay. So we don't get the fuel from there. I just pick up this very casually. And that's just the MO disc. Cool. So I'm pretty sure it's in this room. Okay. I know where it is, it's back this way. No, not this way. This way. Miss me. Yeah! I fucking found you. And boom. Right, so we need to refuel that, and while we're on the way, we can go meet Jill. Fuck you! That way you won't get in the way when I um have a fuel that I can't shake. Let's go see Chill.
Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, let's go do the fuel. And then we can't run. got the fuel capsule. Many good fuels to be nitro compound. Running it could result in a fatal explosion. <laughs> Let's not do that. Well, this is really slow. At least the graphics are really, really, really pretty. Can you believe this game came out in 2002? Like, goddamn, look at it. This is a GameCube game. Like, I know they upped the resolution and the, um, everything. But the graphics are the same. Like, this looks as fucking impressive when you play it on the GameCube with a decent CRT TV. I say decent because the GameCube always will look better on a CRT TV than it will do a HD TV. Wish I had the space to have a proper CRTV in my apartment, but I don't because I'm poor. Right. Well, I'm out of ammo now. This is why I save. Fuck. Okay. Let's see how fast we can do that this time. God damn it! This is a dead end, right? Yeah, it is. Question. If I kill you guys, do you stay dead in this version, or do you just infinitely respawn? Okay. So they're both dead. Let's see if they're dead when I come back. Yeah. 
Ya, ya, ya. God, that is satisfying. <laughs> Yeah, they respawn. That's for respawning, you dingus. I thought they respawned. Cool, let's go kill this Crimson Head, meet uh, Jill, find out Wesker's the traitor again. Oh no, you're playing silly buggers. I'm going to save before going into the uh, Chimera ring this time. Just so I don't blow myself up again. can skip that cutscene, that's actually quite useful. Okay. I was in the I was down a corridor from it. I could have just walked past the Chimera, but I couldn't, could I? I'm gonna good out of ammo. I'm gonna put that handgun back when I refill this. Yep, running as well as shooting my shotgun. Didn't mention that one now, did you, you dingus? Don't have one now, we lassie. Come on. Slowly. The tortoise won the race with the hare, remember that. Yes, I am. That's the self defense gun. I 
I'm not going to do goddamn anything until I've saved. I want to see if I can reload that gun, but <laughs> save him first! Oh, it doesn't use the magnum rounds. Well, might as well put the magnum rounds back then, right? Okay, let's go do this shit. Okay, I can do this. I cannot blow myself up for a second time. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I can do this, I believe in myself. Apparently they do stay dead. There is just three and not two. Oh, huh. that's really nice to actually learn. It is a necessity to use it. Hey, oh, we are like right on the last little bit of this game. This is where all the drama happens, people. Sorry, Chimera. But I'm not paying you any attention. Out of the elevator, boom. It died. So did that one. Hehe, <laughs> I like shooting them, they're fun. Okay, let's just get out of here, get to the elevator. Do I have any health items? No, I want to pick up some. Because I'm going to be fighting a tyrant, after all. I have a green herb up in that as well. I do. Yeah, I know it's overdoing it. I saved like literally five minutes ago, but this is the last point. I think this is the last time you can save in the entire game. I wouldn't hold me to that, but it might be. So I'm just thinking if I die at any point, I don't want to have to slowly walk back to the thingy. Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir.
here we go. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Becca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Ooh, Wesker! To freak. Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm actually gonna try and move it. Reload. Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Alright. So that was, uh, that was Tyrant. Okay, how do we turn off the lock? Yeah. Cool. Well, Tyrant's... You know, Tyrant's probably dead. Right. Let's be off. Just gotta save Jill now. What is it? 
found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Now, let's go get, uh, Jill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, Chimera, very nice. I need to go save my best friend. Come on, 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 come on. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Yep, that was my running into a wall impression. Run, 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 run. Combine. Ah, much better. Time to get the fuck out of here. Jail. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel must evacuate This is Crab. We're running out of fuel. This is our last chance. If there's anyone alive, give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel. Oh, there she is. Oh yeah, it's like, duh, I'm past it. Three minutes to detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But... Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering why it makes you need them flares, 
then um, it's because you need an inventory slot to pick up the um, the flares that you signal Brad with. It, it was making sure you have at least one free inventory slot. Clever. Good game design. Yeah, here. Just gonna be a cheeky monkey here. I'm reloading the menu. Ow, my back. Examine. First aid spray, very nice. Thanks, babe. Ow. Ow! Fuck me! Hey, ugly. Motherfucker. Keep rocket launcher. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. I found the tyrant that killed me was dead and the facility was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF-013. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. Who are you? 
I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective You will regret is the this, my lady. Of umbrella that, officer I lies. promise. Time to change the plan. I better secure my escape. Then I will deal with them. Sergei, I won't forget your kindness. It's time to take the virus for a test drive. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now fuck off. I didn't even have any time to dodge that one. It's not like I've already died once and edited it out. I mean, if it was, I wouldn't say anything like that, obviously. You know, I'd want to hide it. If I didn't, there'd be no point in editing it out. Oh, fuck off. The same thing happened last time. You know, the time that didn't happen. Okay, there's a fucking hunter out here. So you know what? You can have that in preparation. Come on, I need help. Stay dead. Fuck you. And you. And you. No one else that needs to be shot. Chris, Jill. I hope you survive long enough for us to have our tear-filled reunion. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, I think he was surprised nobody else was laughing at his joke. Fuck me. You, I thought we disposed of you. Nobody's perfect. Not even you, Lisa.
The exit should be close. The hourglass is running low. Time to pick up the pace. No time to play. I need to find another route. I mean, most people would have just walked around her. So when do all the has all fit in that door handle? Come on. Man, I suck at this game. At least we had a checkpoint, that's good. I mean, you could have moved past her then. More health would be really nice. Come on. Come on. She appears to be stalking me. Your desire for eternal slumber shall be real. <laughs> he says as he dies. <laughs> like, I don't even mind that I died that time. That was just funny. Oh, man. She appears to be stalking me. Your desire for eternal slumber shall be real. I 
I mean, you're just not dying at this point. Be a good girl and stay dead this time. And so I was reborn like a phoenix emerging from the flame. I no longer needed Umbrella. A new horizon stretched out before me. I had risen beyond the human race and cheated death itself, leaving nothing to oppose me.